being yeah. entirely in Danish this time. Yeah, well, yeah. that's one way to handle this, um, but I don't think it's really plausible that that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think it's possible that it could happen, and uh, probably it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So it is neither... Well, it's possible, but it's not possible. <laughs> no, it's not possible it's either. No, no, it's, it's, just, it's just possible, not. It's not. It is possible. If you just said random noises, there's a very if slight chance you all, might give it good I was right. I say, or we it's could all true. be, like, touched with the Spirit of God and speak in tongues, and they could all be Danish. I mean, it's possible. But it's, it's, it's neither plausible it's, it's, nor probable. I hate to say it, but tongues is just, like, made-up words. It's not an actual language. What? <laughs> Catholic David is super pissed off by that. How dare you? Just came in. You have just offended actually. Number of actually, I believe tongues would be totally bad. I read it not with. as offended, as more as in surprised. Like he believed me, but it had totally changed his worldview. Right, but what about what Catholic. about the apostles? As a Catholic, what about the apostles? They spoke in tongues. It can't be evil. Did they speak in tongues? Oh yeah. Oh my God! Read your Bible. Well, it's just, I know vaguely that, like, opening yourself up or whatever, which I think tongues is all about, like, it's usually interpreted as opening yourself up to demons more than opening yourself up to angels, so it's usually considered a bad thing. Acts. Acts of the Apostles. I do believe it is. That's Canada. different, right? That's you probably know, different, because the they're weird... not purposely opening themselves up. God is just forcing his way in, like, a rapist. <laughs> no, God yeah, is raping people. That's not... You know the weird thing about the Book of Acts? Is that it sounds very much like you say the book of Acts, uh -huh. like an axe, like a fire it's axe, the axe of the but it is not the acts. Right. You never like pronounce act acts. You're saying it's acts, like the act, like the apostles. Yeah. Acts, <laughs> yes. And they just run around like the people up. People what, did like, I say that? No, no Zach's people just in general. I'm saying, and Mary in particular. How, our, how my When you say acts, it sounds a lot like acts. you're saying acts. So, you know, Zach had a vision of the apostles with a wood axe just going around chopping people. Hmm. You know, they yeah, uh, were told that they had to go out and buy swords and axe. Um, no, that was in, I think, Matthew. And, um... No, they didn't buy swords in Matthew, and then it no, turned well, around. He, he, well... Is this on stream? Dare I say it. Jesus did contradict himself. <laughs> Da wait, wait, wait. Give them... David a chance to do his what again. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so dare I say it. it. It was, I think it's in, it's one of the M's. It's the Matthews remarks where he does say go out and buy, well, he tells them not to first. He sends them out. He's like, don't buy swords or whatever. And then later and then he on, says he's to like, sell your cloak and buy a sword, right? And then he's all like, yeah, you need to buy a sword because it's going to get bad. And then when Peter, he has a sword, right? And he cuts off the guy's ear when they come to take Jesus. And Jesus is like, Jesus. put your damn sword away. And he heals the ear. Jesus heals him. So, so, so like, I know yeah, different books would contradict each other, but was all that in the same fucking book? Um, I'm not sure if it was in the same book. It's in, it's in the Matthews and the Marks. I don't know. Or if... Acts. By the way, speaking of Axes... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are any of you familiar at all with the legend of Gilgamesh? I mean, yes. yeah. Prayers of it, and there's like a bull, and there's a Noah's Ark bit. Did you know that at one point he had a dream where Gilgamesh made love to an axe, a physical axe? Hot. Be cool. That's As fair. though it were a woman, he, he described this in great detail to his mother. Because the thing is, is if you took gang. out the, uh, <laughs> if, you took the handle, <laughs> if you took out the handle and you just had the axe head, it actually is perfect uh, fucking size. Yeah, okay. That's probably how he did it. Well done, Zach. You cracked that one. Yeah, <laughs> I cracked the code. And just like a woman, cold, hard steel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Deadly in the wrong hardcore hands. In the, hardcore in the <laughs> days of Gilgamesh. <laughs> I'm sharp, too. Alrighty. From now Ancient on, Babylonian fighting style. <laughs> Useful for felling trees. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> probably, Gilgamesh was probably before the age of iron. I'm gonna guess. He was probably still, it was probably bronze. It would have been a bronze, bronze axe, axe, yeah. Or it could have been a stone axe. Could have been. Or a clay axe. Could have been. Could have been. Stone axe would have been pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Is this on stream? Yes, it is. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
<laughs> now that that's all there. That's it's canon. All right. So let's fucking let's start. <laughs> this was just a black screen. Uh, I actually don't have like a picture. I realized last time that I didn't have a picture for uh, the Caribbean, so it's just going to be more Montreal. Or I could you pick. Know, you could be prepared for these things. Yeah, I could. You couldn't make an effort. Nah, don't be ridiculous, Mary. You know what? I'm gonna put on the pictures of Quebec because it's uh, snowy in the pictures and it's snowy outside right now. It's not. That snowy makes sense. Yeah. In well, the Caribbean though. No, it's not. But it, I mean, it's winter. Does it snow in Alabama, Stallworth? No. <laughs> All right. Well, we got. I think we got about two inches of snow in Tuscaloosa like uh, two years ago. They like they shut everything down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm not familiar enough with the south to know there. Yeah, uh, they're, well, so, the snows they're the closer Caribbean. to the equator. I don't think it snows in the Caribbean. I think no, I you're, think so you're even closer to the uh, equator. There we go. Imagine if it did, though. Because, like, Georgia gets snow. Mm, no, not that much, I don't think. North Carolina, I think they get snow. Not really. It's the Midwest that gets snow, and I then know, the but Northeast. I think, but I think, that, I think, I think they... I think they get a little snow in like Kansas and now you're getting more into the US. I'm pretty sure Georgia gets snow. Well anyway. I don't think so. Alright, well we can agree to disagree. I feel like Stallworth would know more about the South than you would. Yeah, I don't well that's why I asked. <laughs> I'm, you I'm, know. I'm happy to be corrected. I just seem Stallworth, to have you traveled around the South? Honestly, I have, but it 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 varies, honestly. Here's the question. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it is the South. Is it all kind of the same? Can you, if you were in Mississippi, would you definitely be able to tell the difference between that and Alabama? Just oh no, no, you couldn't. <laughs> okay, so oh, really? here, here's something. Wow. Like, do are there different like state accents? Like, because to me, it's all just a Southern accent. But like, could you tell a Georgian from a Mississippian from an Alabamian? Uh, probably not. But you could definitely tell someone from Louisiana from someone from Alabama. <laughs> Okay, so mm. Louisiana. Louisiana. To be fair, actually, the Louisiana do have their own distinct thing, well, even got within that the Southern Orleans accent. Kind yeah. Of thing going on. Well, that's Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, but that's so. Mm. Yeah, I would probably be able to even. Yeah, they got the whole Cajun thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Huh. Okay. All right. I, yeah. So let's get started. Mm hmm. Um. Dice. Yeah, they are. All right. So last time, uh, you guys were getting ready to head out to uh, the Colts compound there in Haiti. We are going to die. Yes. So here's the thing, guys. I think we should just go out in a blaze of glory. Oh yeah. Cause, but why? Uh, we're gonna die. We're going up against Infernal. <laughs> we're gonna. We're not gonna win the fight. So let's protest the final yeah. boss by self-immolating ourselves, let's like just, people in China let's do. Let's just go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> it will really inconvenience them Some for us to burn <laughs> on their front porch. Nonsense. We're gonna win. All right. So on that uh, count, is there anything you guys want to do before leaving Port Au Prince and heading out into the interior of the island? What weapons do we have on us? Um, well, you guys can list off whatever you you took. I assume you guys list on your character sheets what you guys were taking. Uh oh. Uh, you have see, way too. That, why would you expect this okay, of us, Zach? So this is why I asked the question right here. This is why I asked the question because I just wanted to get it done now before we go into the interior of the island. And Only Mary like... can see the body language. <laughs> <laughs> he is just shaking. I'm his not head angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> So, Wait, hold on a sec. That would mean you expected only... us to have written it down. Yeah. You can't possibly have... You've played with us for how long? David kept track of all the currency. He was writing that down. Oh, all right, was... so we could only He take wrote down shotguns. how many clips he had. No, we could only take shotguns on the plane. So we had those. What else do you guys have? And Sangris uh, the Serpent two took one of the shotguns. I assumed you took two with you, so there is one left to you. So, so if I recall you... correctly, I had, a sh I had the other shotgun. And then my sire 
got us some weapons as well. Yes. In addition to that, you had an AK-74 assault rifle. You had an Uzi submachine gun, and there was a revolver, I believe. Do you know I remember really taking a machete. There was also a pair of machetes. You took one, and I believe Hassan took the other. Pretty sure that yeah. I, I took some type of firearm also. And a Smith & Wesson revolver. I believe that David took the AK and the revolver, and that you took the Uzi. Yes, I think that's yeah, right. Yeah, I definitely took the revolver, because I couldn't take... So in that case, uh, do you want to have the shotgun as well? Are you, is Jean taking the shotgun, the AK, and the revolver, or are you going to give the shotgun well, to someone else? That's an awful lot of weapons, so I'll just have the AK and the revolver. All right. And in just trying to speed things up, I'm pretty sure the only other one with firearms here is Stallworth, so do you want the other shotgun? Sure. All right. Now that you know what weapons you have... Add them to your character sheet. Okay, so what we're doing right. is we're going into the interior to case the joint. We're not going into... Well, I assume you're... I mean, you're driving into the interior. That's going to take hours. I assume you will case the joint and then do whatever. But okay. you're not... I doubt you would come but back like, to the I, city. I, I feel like we haven't made a plan yet, but we're going to do that once we get there yeah. and we see what we're up to. The idea is, is you're like a couple hours drive away. You're going to drive up there, decide the what to do. Large? Yeah, I mean, it's an island. Okay. And the roads may not be the highest quality. <laughs> you may have. <laughs> you say we're putting wooden planks. I'm saying you roads. will not be traveling at 70 miles an hour on a well-paved okay. freeway. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. In our little Datsun or whatever we're driving. Yeah, in your shitty little car. How much intel do we have on the stronghold? None. None. We're gonna go get it now. That's what we're doing. Is the weather at least dry? Right now it is, yes. Alright, so we're not gonna have to get out and fucking push the car or some shit. Unless so we don't even changes. know, like, the relative size of it? Uh, no, we know nothing about this. We, we have no. no intel at all about this compound. That's why we're going oh, to... Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. That's why I assume you'll try and case the place before you just charge in. Good idea, yeah. I don't know, I'm feeling option two on that one. But yeah. anyway, once you're so going... I, so by, I wanted uh -huh. to make this clear. By going into the general it. area, you will be leaving the city where you can easily procure things. Is there anything else you guys want to procure before moving closer? Uh, if anyone's not full on blood, I guess they should fill up. So you should probably feed, yes. Alright. Alright, I got nine out of thirteen. I'm full. Stalworth, you full? Yeah, I'm well, I mean, I, I'm 12 out of 13, so... Alright, basically so full. Good. Alright, so, yeah, and I'm fine for whatever I need to So do you guys want to feed or not? Well, Bye. David, you're the only one who needs yeah, it. I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll try to get those tree points. Alright. How are you going to go about that? I don't know, guys, how should I go about that? Can I, um, how do you feel about it? Anyone got that? animal can? I do. Do you want me to call some animals? Yeah, just call some animals. Okay. All right. So I can do some animalia. Sort of. Who's he what's it? All right. Let me make sure I know what the role is. I think it's something plus survival, but. I think I'm mid-maxed for it, so whatever it is. Charisma wow, plus survival. All right, so six. All right, I wouldn't call that <laughs> min-max. I would call that above average. You're good at it, but... You haven't used animal things that much, though, have you? No, I haven't. I only got my second dot here recently, so... Oh, I, see. I couldn't summon them. All yeah. Right. Um, you're able to summon, uh, like, a bunch of... You're in kind of a shantytown area, so you're able to summon plenty of rats. Okay. Um, enough for you guys to get, uh, six blood points to distribute among the pack. Okay. I'll take three. <laughs> Stalworth, you need one? Yeah, That'll sure, I'll take one. one. I can take the other two. That'll be fine. Don't use blood. Nice. Well, okay. you may need to. <laughs> yes, I know, but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going out in a blaze of glory. I got my blood, but I still have my two pints of... You're really fixated on dying, Mary. I am. You can try <laughs> to survive. I could. 
but I'd have to run away. Do you really want me to do that? <laughs> you could be brave. You could. I am. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to like blow us all up. <laughs> all right. Or suicide bomber. No, that's the son. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not a very good one then, because I'm still alive. Yeah. No, you're not. You have a yeah, job. Yeah, you're a failed suicide bomber. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're. Do you think, like, the terrorists in Al-Qaeda were ever, like, reading about the terrorists in the IRA and were like, man, they're terrible at this. They keep leaving. Wasn't there some deadliest uh -huh. warrior? <laughs> yeah, there they was. they pitted, like, an IRA guy against somebody else? I the IRA remember. versus the Taliban. I, I feel like that was <laughs> an episode. I feel like that, that was an episode. That sounds great. Yeah, I'd hey, love to watch that. David, yeah, a, who do you think won? IRA. You're spot on. They did win, I believe. There's like this scene at the and end where there's stunned, like... Because I'm like, really? The IRA? And because it's a uh, documentary. Uh, uh, there's like a historical reenactment of like these two groups fighting. <laughs> it's quite and it's like a squad of IRA guys versus a squad of Taliban guys out in like a scrapyard. Like a car <laughs> graveyard, basically. <laughs> Yeah. They're shooting the at each other, place, and obviously. the final blow, obviously, it comes down to one-on-one. -on -one. The final blow comes, the Taliban guy is chasing the IRA guy, they go through, like, this shitty bus, and then, like, the Taliban guy gets to the other end, and he tries to open the door. He's, like, struggling to open it, and then he's like, he can't get through. And they looks through the glass, he sees the IRA guy, <laughs> and then he looks down and sees that he planted a nail bomb <laughs> right <laughs> below him. <laughs> and the pipe bomb goes off and blows up <laughs> the bus. It's and, and the IRA guy walks away in victory. Deadliest warrior. It, it, it That's is, so dumb. It is, it is a, it's because, an entertaining little show. So I mean, they did mention... Ridiculous. That's the thing is, like, there's... Obviously, they never fought, like, pitched battles. So, like, when they're analyzing the weaponry, it makes no sense. So I love, like, though, that just, this pitch battle did somehow battle, come down to an IRA guy planting a nail yeah. bomb somewhere. I, it just, so it's higher budget death battle. Yeah. Yes. It's, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's, Not I that mean, much higher, though, is do, the thing. They do, <laughs> do kind of go into some history and, and tell you about things. So you can't learn something. It, it, it is but it's, very... You know, but their pitched battles were really yeah. kind of ridiculous. Like, some of the well. weapon analysis is like... If we're being generous, we'll call it educational, but it a lot is, of mean, it... They get the side of beef and they show the impact. Yeah, a lot it's, of it, know, though, is just, like... It's kind of fun. They, they do have a doctor there to, like, lend science to it. Mm -hmm. Um... Where, it like, very, he will go up. It is very Mythbusters-y with, yeah. it, with he his He goes up, slaps on, like, his gloves, walks up to this. He's a trained MD to, like, this side of pork that's been cut in half with a samurai sword. He's like... Yeah, this guy'd be dead. <laughs> That'd kill you. That's the thing, that they're all weapons. Like, no matter what you hack a piece right. of pork apart with, <laughs> this guy's like, hey, you'd be dead. Thanks, genius. <laughs> Good job. I enjoy it. Sounds like a great show. It is it, a, it no, it's a fantastic it's show. It's show, I'm telling you. It is not educational. <laughs> Okay, uh, educational, I use the term loosely. Being not, you know, having uh, a lot of experience with yeah. weapons, it is kind of fun <laughs> to see them actually slice through a piece of meat that is not a human. Yeah. You know, so it's experiential. Let's, yeah. Let me put it that way. It is experiential, not yeah. educational. There you go. Gotta get my semantics right for this guy. Good lord. I, you know, it's plausible that you may need to think a little bit more about how you use your words. All right. Anyway, Back so to, you guys we're fill up the blood. The, the, uh, this is the, <laughs> the, is the worst conversation this is the in conversation the world in, in this small car. <laughs> As you're As bumping over these driving. shitty roads. This is what we're talking about, this yeah. This is what we're talking about in the Dotson. <laughs> Did you guys I'm ever see Deadly Warrior? I'm legitimately amazed at how the conversation turned from you feed off rats to Deadliest Warrior IRA was a Taliban. Yeah. I, I don't see the connection. Uh, how did that happen? I forget already. I get, tell you what, guys. I won't edit it out just for you because you don't want me to edit things out. <laughs> 
you know, I'll leave it in and you can watch uh, the evolution I yourself. Uh, I'll have forgotten about it in two hours For anyway. For worth watching this at home, rewind the YouTube back to the beginning of that fucking conversation. And see how the fuck this happened. And see how it started. <laughs> You know, it's a little, it's a, it's, it's, that's an experience of learning how human conversation can take these twists yeah. and turns. Yeah, you learn more from this than Deadliest Warrior, apparently. Probably. As you begin to approach the compound, <laughs> after okay. several hours. Everybody shut up! <laughs> I like to imagine we had the discussion in character. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we oh, yeah, happened. Oh yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we did. Because Hassan was all the Taliban would have killed everyone. <laughs> yeah, Hassan was Hassan was fiercely on the side of the Taliban. It was, it was the rigged. suicide bombing thing. And Jean, I made a joke about because you said you were going to be a suicide bomber. I said That's you were it. the wrong race. The um, and then I said, do you ever think that Al Qaeda that thought that IRA was just I doing it made wrong? Some joke about suicide bombing, and then you know, Hassan yep, you was brought all up the Taliban suicide bombing, it. and then Jean's yeah. like, no, the IRA yeah. is way better. Why? Yeah. Just to pick a fight. You were doing it just to pick a fight, Jean. And, and that's how we got it. All right. No, actually, I was the one who brought up the IRA. I made no, the No, but I'm saying in character. Oh, yeah. In the Dotson, this is how mm -hmm, it came down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I realize Absolutely. it was you instigating. In reality, Obviously. But... Yeah. Anyway. All right, but we're driving up to the compound now. All is, right. Is the serpent guy with us, or did he go alone? Are we meeting him somewhere? Because if he was in this whole car, he was in the car with you as well. Oh, He's just. Which side did he come down on? He did not say anything. <laughs> he just, he just breathed heavily. He's probably the one walking alongside the car, like putting down the wooden planks for you to drive <laughs> to over. Drive over the <laughs> mess that is Haiti. All right. All right. I mean, I don't, I've never been to Haiti. Maybe the roads are very good condition. I don't know. I don't Probably imagine they are. Outside of the resorts. Now. But as we are he heading into the interior of the island, I feel like they would not be. All right. So. You guys arrive so. in the area. All right, right so obfuscate on. Let's go check it out. All right. So you're going to check it out obfuscated? Absolutely. Sneak around. All right. All specs. Um, you would have to get. It is a compound, like out in the jungle. So you would have to get kind of close to the walls of it if you wanted to start aspecting. All right. So I don't see any patrols nearby, at least. No, you can. If wherever you guys are camped, you don't see any auras directly near you. Okay. All right. So obfuscated, uh, Hassan. You uh, sneak forward, and uh, as you uh, get closer, you eventually see, you come through the jungle, and you can see that there is a big clearing in front of you that stretches all the way around, and after several uh, meters of clear space, there is a big, like, concrete wall. And how far does this wall stretch to either side? Uh, the wall, it stretches off to either side and seems to be going around the entire compound. Uh, you can also see up over the wall there are guard towers that are in place. Um, it's, uh, they have, like, searchlights. They don't seem to be moving right now, but there are searchlights that go out uh, over the clearing. All right. There are dark spaces that you could sneak through, though. Or okay. someone else. I mean, you're obfuscated, so it might not matter, but... Right. Um, are the rest of them following behind me so I can give them this information, or should I just go all the way back to tell um, them? Yeah, they wouldn't really be able to follow behind you on account of you being invisible, so... Well, aspects. I guess uh, John could have if you wanted John to be leading everyone behind you. I mean, from, like, from a distance, I mean. Not straight behind me, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that the Sure. Fine by me. Right, in that case, I will go back and tell this information, then re-obfuscate. Which I'll ask, I'll ask after that if I should um, investigate further, like, try to see if I can find some way to get inside. I don't see why not. 
Very well then. And I will attempt to do that. All right. Cool. So you... Again, obfuscated. <laughs> All right. So you go uh, through the, uh, you know, dark spots and get to the uh, wall. Uh, and then moving around the wall, eventually you come around to a spot where there seems to be a gate that would open up into the area. Although you can see that the gate seems to have undergone some damage. Um, and it's basically hanging... One of the doors is hanging loose, and there's room that a person could easily go through. These are big gates, like cars are meant to go through here, so... What sort of gates are they? Like, can't you race up? They open inwards, uh, open outwards? It is wooden uh, doors, basically, built into okay. this place. And there's, like, an arch of the concrete that goes over it. Okay. Hmm. Can I tell what seems to have caused the damage? Fire? Uh, blunt impact? Alright. Give me a perception plus investigation. That is five. Alright. So, uh, as you look at this, it seems to you that it was just a terrific force from something knocked it aside, although you're not sure what it could be. Um, Probably a demon. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I mean, but yeah, it looks like seriously. blunt force uh, yeah, just knocked it aside. Wait, well, hold on, from, from inside from or outside? From outside. From outside. Huh. That's odd. I'll, uh, I'll go report this as well. Alright. And, and then I'll try to, guess, peek my head through really quickly, see if I can scout anything inside. Alright. Is the rest of the group moving up at this point? Uh, I would assume not. Because they would have to sneak through the um, dark spaces as well. Yeah. There are wide spaces. Up, up it, it's not really particularly hard. I won't require a roll to get through it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, um... Do you want to? <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then I guess you're not. Ask, if you're gonna ask well, this Blaze of Glory <laughs> thing turned around pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be... The... Yeah. Oh, jeez, I don't know about this, I mean, guys. We might as well. I mean, we gotta go in eventually, so if this is okay, the easiest let's do it. Part, then let's go up and check it out. Alright. Alright then. I'll poke my head through and see what I can find. Alright, so you peek your head through, and inside you can see there's a big wide open compound. Um, there are, uh, like, some outbuildings. Um, there's a road that goes up to what looks like the main house. Um, it does look like there are a couple of vehicles, um, around. Uh, you don't see anyone walking around. And the place seems very quiet. Mm. The, um, destruction that seems to have affected the front gate, does that continue inside in some way? Um, you would have to get closer in order to see more clearly. Um, it looks like this place is in kind of a state of disrepair, but you're in the interior of the jungle in Haiti, so it just may... Does it look like it's... It's not manicured, obviously. Okay. Uh. But, to my eye, does it look like it's just the interior of Haiti? Or like I'm it saying, like it, it would be hard to tell until you get close enough. There okay. are gonna be... Things could be I'll the start. result of damage, but from a distance it's hard to tell if it's not just the weather and... Okay. Stuff like that. Right, well... I will uh, peek outside again, uh, de obfuscate and I'll turn to Sean and go, please investigate. But not towards it. Alright, can I investigate it? Alright. So give you me... Know, aspects, mate. Give me a perception yeah. plus investigation. Seven with a specialty. All right. So with your uh, much sharper vision uh, at night, it's a lot easier for you to see. 
Um, and you can see there does seem to be definite damage on the buildings. Uh, it's possible a storm may have just come through, but something definitely tore the place up. Check your weather app. Was there a recent storm? Very in recently. Uh, you don't actually have uh, any uh, connection on your phones. Well, how have I been talking to my... Oh, here. There's just no connection. There's no cell service here. No, oh. not in the middle of like, Haiti. How have I been talking to my sire? But you're saying my phone is working. In the just, city, yeah, there's, there's cell, coverage. No cell coverage. I got well, you. Could we yeah. notice anything or hear about anything previously? Can we like, make a roll you for that? You did not. I'm just going to okay. tell you, you did not. Huh. Right then. In that case, I'll re obfuscate and I guess I'll try sneaking around inside. See if I can find anything. Stay right. in the shadows, of course. Don't go out into the open. Do you want to check out like the guard houses? Do you want to go to some of the out smaller outbuildings, or do you want to go into the main house? Uh, you cut out the end. Uh, you said guard houses, outhouses, and the main house. Um, I'll take from the top and go to the um, guard posts first. All right. Because I assume since I couldn't hear anything yeah. and the lights weren't moving, there's nobody there. Yeah, as you check them out, uh, you can see the lights are not... They should be moving, obviously, if someone were on duty here, but there is not anyone. Um, and as you're kind of stepping up there and you reach a height where you're able to see into the actual guard post itself, you can see that there is a, a body on the ground. Should it appear to have been mauled, or...? All right, give me a... Give me a perception plus a medicine. That's a free. All right. All right. So looking around, you do kind of stumble over uh, some spent uh, casings uh, for his weapon. There, he did have uh, an assault rifle, which he was obviously firing at some point. Um, and as you're yeah. checking his wounds, you can see it looks like uh, like a wild animal tore into him, basically. That's about all you can tell, but it has that sort of look, like he was mauled by animals rather than shot or cut. Is the room also messed up severely? Um, yes, the room has taken uh, damage. All right. Hmm. Okay, what's my are there any are there any like bloody paw prints around? Um, there is, like, blood, like, sprayed all around, but it's all kind of dried and coagulated and, like, mixed together. You can't make out any definite footprints. Okay. Um, right. and if you want to investigate, Mary, you'll have to actually go up there to see it. But can I get... Yeah, I'll, I'll head down, I'll report, and I'll get an occult let them. presence, like, as I go in, am I feeling any heebie-jeebies? Um, you... Uh, well... Uh, you feel a little nervous, okay. but... Am I getting the same feeling that I get on the no, hill? No, not okay. on, not like that, no. Okay, Lord, I gotta spell it out for you. Alright. So everybody's dead here, it looks like a wild animal. Yep. Kill <laughs> Alright, well, that doesn't, well, it could still be here. And maybe not everybody's dead. Should I bring back his weapon for you? Um, I probably have to gonna go. Oh well, John can John can aspects back in time, right? Yes, he can. So maybe we mm -hmm. can go up there and have you uh, see what happened. Because I feel yeah. like this is a traumatic experience that would create a psychic resonance. Absolutely. Yeah. I could. He could just do it on the gun, couldn't he? He could do it. I mean, it would probably be better to do it on the body, but. Okay, yeah. Upstairs we go. Alright. Alright. So, John, you sneak in? Yeah. I'll go with him to get a sense of... Alright. Do some sort of... So, are you guys... Wits plus stealth. Are you no, guys okay. trying to proceed stealthily, or are you... Yes. Okay. Stealthily. I'm trying so, in that case, I'm trying so hard. In that case, give me dexterity plus stealth rolls. Alright, mine. Can I can I cover them all before you roll? Can I cover them all in uh, a cone of quietness? If you want to spend the blood point, yes. I will do so. Well, wait. What are our rolls? Mine is six. Mine's four. Okay, maybe we do need to go. <laughs> <laughs> you so said dex plus stealth. Yes. Mine's five. 
So we got four, five, six, how, eight. I love how his is higher than mine where he stealth. Yes, I have no stealth. Uh, well, he's just very dexterous. He's just very dexterous. He's yeah. dexterous as fuck. <laughs> Alright, so you guys sneak up to the guardhouse. And, uh, Jean, you were going to try and investigate the body. That's going to be a perception plus empathy. Seven with a specialty. All right. Turns nice. out that the serpent guy is the least stealthy of us all. He just comes crashing in yelling. Oh, he obfuscated. You haven't oh, okay. seen him for a while. Uh, and I assume... <laughs> I hope he's going to come back and tell us something. Abigail... If it turns out he's the one who did this. Abigail well, is well, also obfuscated. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, oh. I, can, I can see them as well. No, you can see Abigail. Can you... All right, so the serpent guy's gone. Well... Well, he, oh, or he oh, has yeah. more obfuscate than he, you have Auspex. I was going to say, he has more obfuscate nah, than nah. you have Auspex. <laughs> I believe you have a certain flaw that may be coming into play here. Uh, Didn't realize you had the overconfident flaw. So, uh, he has yeah, the opposite. But you can see Hassan and Abigail is what you're saying. Okay. Yes. He's probably here. My Auspex sucks after all. Um, or he's investigating elsewhere and is going to come back with very valuable information. Could be. Could be. Or he's betrayed us. Uh, or he betrayed or us. Or he has betrayed you. All right. All good possibilities. Now, which one is plausible? I would say, I would say, yeah, for fuck's sake, I was going to make that joke, damn it. You beat me to it. <laughs> Gotta get up pretty early in the morning. <laughs> to make right. dumb jokes before also you do. I was thinking of making that joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wit is quicker. I have a wits of four. What do you guys have? <laughs> uh, let me check. Two. No, sorry, three, three. See, that's why Three. I was faster. Now, nah, all right. That's why you were faster, Mary. Mm -hmm. Sharp as an axe. So you start to touch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got one in. You got one in. I got one in, bitch. <laughs> you start touching the body. Um, and yeah. as you're feeling it, you do uh, get some emotional impressions from it. Uh, you feel intense okay. uh, fear, uh, anger, and terror. And uh, you see, uh, you get flashes of, like, violence and pain as some sort of creature basically came up and was, like, ripping into him. He felt like he was being torn apart. Mm. Um, and from the emotions you're getting, uh, you get the impression that whatever he was doing uh, to his opponent wasn't really working. You get that sort of frustration as well. Hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, uh, is that everything? And that's it. You did, you okay, so I'll convey is. this to the group, and a few hypotheses. Could be a werewolf, right? Could be protein claws or some shit. Yeah. Could be a Could demon. Could be Samizi. Could be a demon, yeah, absolutely. Could be a Samizi in Zulu form or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So how, on, how, how high up are we right now if we're in the guard post um you're high enough to overlook uh the wall so the wall is uh about 10 feet or so you would be uh, around like 15 feet or so okay how did we get up here through a staircase for yeah, ladders there's a staircase that winds and comes up i do assume okay. that hassan and uh joseph like are watching our backs and, and, and doing a look speaking out. of which uh hassan the beezing attacks you obviously uh <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm making that a from up here can we see the entire compound um you can see most of it you can't see behind the houses obviously but right but we can make out the size of it yeah okay and the size is uh pretty big, big. i mean it's a couple of acres. Does it look like there's damage all over the place? Um, like, holes from in what buildings and things with like Os that? it's hard to tell at night, you know, obviously from a distance, but uh, Jean can kind of tell it does look like the damage was all over the place. So, speaking of, could I do a more mundane inspection of the room and the body and uh, look for evidence of what the creature might have been? I'd look for fur if it's a werewolf, do, for example. And All right. I'd like to do an occult inspection. Okay, so first off, uh, if you want to examine the body again, that would be a medicine check. Uh, if you want to look around the room in general, that would be investigation. I um, have okay. medicine, if that is... It's going to be perception plus medicine. 
So the, I, I would have a roll of six on that. All right, that's higher than mine, so why don't you do that, and I'll do the investigation roll. Okay. So, uh, looking at uh, the body, uh, you do not believe that it is uh, probably, like, actual animals. It does seem like it's, these are, like, huge claw marks coming into it. Because they're not eating anything afterwards. An yeah. animal would eat you afterwards. Yeah, there's no sign of consumption here. Um, there is... Uh, yeah, it looks like something torn apart. It would be consistent with a lupine or with protein claws. Okay. Um, Demonic? It could be... I mean, demons could appear in any in form. Any but form. yeah, obviously, okay. that obviously is that one is. possibility. <laughs> Still keeping our possibilities up. There. You know, if a Balrog there. came out, yeah. Okay. All right. Is there any sign of burning? Like, is there any fire? Um, no, you do just... not see anything like that. Um, there is a little bit of, like, uh, the smell of, like, cordite around from the... But that's probably from, from the bullets that he fired. Um, other than that sort of powder, you don't see any other sign so no. on him. And no, like, burn marks on him. Okay. Um, and so investigating generally, perception plus investigation, Jean. Seven with a specialty. All right. All right. So looking around, again, uh, you find that he does seem to have basically emptied the clip on his weapon into whatever he was fighting. Um, there's no uh, ammunition here. Um, you do find that the weapon was in uh, fairly good condition, actually, so it seems like the cult was uh, basically looking to their own defenses. Um, and the guard tower does give a pretty good view, so it does... Uh, seem like they were actively defending this place pretty well up until whatever happened. Um, and whatever came through here did damage around to the guard tower. It looks like it was um, impressively strong. Um, and uh, it could be that it's very large, or it could be that whatever it was was just knocking things around. Because it could. Uh -huh. Generally belligerent. So the werewolf hypothesis seems the most plausible. Well, also the demon, because of the infernalism. Um, demons are notorious betrayers. Mm. So, the demon. But if it was a demon, in the form of a werewolf. Inside? If it was a demon, what? Wouldn't it have come from inside? This this thing broke in from outside. Is it is it their demon? Is it a demon with a biff against some other? Uh, you know, I mean, you never know with demons. No, you don't. They're betrayers. Yeah. You know. They're plausible liars. Or was it? What, do we that know that it was? It. Do we know that it was breaking in, not breaking out? You know that whatever it was broke in. Yes, he did determine Could that breaking at the gate. Now it could have. I guess climbed over the wall and then come back through. Right. You're saying it did actually break in. So Obviously, but you know, I mean, demons yeah. have wars amongst themselves. If these are just pawns in a demon war, you know, I mean, yeah, could be. You don't know, so, or maybe the lupines of the, because uh, uh, how many lupines are on here in Haiti? Is it a lupine? In area? the interior, there are some. Yeah, there are some. But would they be organized enough to mount an attack? against an infernalist compound and are they allies with the setites i mean are they in the war with the setites in the um Zizi they wouldn't well, you do or... know that there are were creatures on the island okay. um they don't like any vampires setites included and um, they also hate infernalism it's the worm right well you don't really know about that but you know they hate all vampires infernalist okay. vamp they hate vampires okay um so were creatures so yeah. it could be something other than a It lupine. might not be a werewolf. It might be larger than that. Are there larger things on Haiti? You have never seen one because if you had, you wouldn't have lived to tell about it. Right. Okay. But so I will make that correction to the group. It may not be a lupine, but some other form of were creature. A were demon. Something of that nature. Mm. 
All right. So just, um, so possibly our task has been completed for us, but possibly we may be going to fight something even more insidious. Well, that sucks. <laughs> All right, can I do, oh, that was my occult uh, investigation, right? Um, you could do an occult investigation oh, if you no, want. That was his investigation. Uh, perception plus. Yeah, uh, you did the medical occult. thing. That's right. Uh, that would be seven. Um, you don't find any traces of the occult here. There doesn't seem okay, to be. So there was no magical, mystical. Going there are no traces that you can detect. So infernalism would fall into magical, mystical. Maybe. I mean, mm-hmm. if it was using some sort of, if it performed some sort of dark thaumaturgy ritual right here, you could probably tell. Um, Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not. But demons don't necessarily have to do that. They have their own. I mean, can I, can I sense a demon You're not familiar enough with demons to really know. Okay. So there's no, so there's no magic. But you did not see any, like, spells, anything like that. So whatever this is has, can obviously... It seemed like it was using its physical abilities. It's, so it can it can take a full clip of ammo physically. Yeah. Without any magical abilities. In addition to the magical abilities it may have. <laughs> In addition to any magical abilities it may have, that may have to come out later, but not here. Wow. Okay. So the thing is, if it's attacking the compound, it could be an ally of yours. Yeah, the... The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Um, I hope it views us that way. <laughs> if it's still in here. Yeah. yeah. Good lord. All right, well, let's... And what have we gathered all the information we can gather from looking around from this high vantage point? Pretty much. Like, we can see where the heart of the compound is? Yeah. Okay. And all of the other guard towers look as equally... They're also unmanned. basically not moving. Okay. Nothing like that. And, okay, well then I say we, we continue to creep forward. Sneaking. Continue. Yeah, just keep investigating. Alright, so where are you guys going to go to now? Sorry, I didn't mean to step on your toes, ductus. <laughs> <laughs> I would respond, that would break my obfuscate. All right. Um, what was the other thing you mentioned? The, um, the house thing? Outhouse, that's the one. There are, there are outbuildings. The outbuildings. Um, yeah, let's go for those. All right. An outhouse is something different. <laughs> Actually, there are outhouses there as well. I mean... But we would call them outbuildings. Well, that's not in the... I meant outbuilding. Yes, I All know right. you did. <laughs> but again, since we're nitpicking on semantics... Anyway. All right. Yeah. Um, as you guys head in, you find uh, more bodies inside of the outbuildings. They look like barracks. Um, there were more people inside. Uh, some of them look like they were just uh, they were still dressed in like the guy. The body you found was in fatigues, but um, the, some of the bodies in here look like they were in like nightgowns. Um, Shifts. And uh, again, there's it's a similar situation to the guardhouse. Um, there are more bodies, device. more weapons, and more destruction. All right. So just more of the same. No, nothing else. Learn um, you could try and look closer if you wanted to, I was but... I say, let's see if we can learn any new inf- We might as well take our time and gather as much information as we can. Alright. No reason not to. Yeah. So who wants to I'm do the profession? To go uh, there. Perception um, plus investigation. I will do my medicine... Uh, Whatever one again. All right, that was six, right? That was six. While happening, I'm I'm leaving the English stand guard because otherwise they wouldn't be able to talk. All right. Yes. There you go. Um. So these bodies look like they have similar claw marks in them. Um. Whatever it is, you don't think? Uh, Jean did suggest that it could be a Zamitsi in Zulu war form. You don't think? I mean, each Zulu war form is kind of distinct. Mm-hmm. Um. But you can also kind of use flesh crafting while you're beating people up, and it doesn't look There's like no these have been flesh crafted at all. This just looks like. Claws. So it could have gone into Zulu war form and then just used purely its claws, not tried to rend people's flesh with flesh crafting That's at the not same how time. Work. Obviously, it, they would have a pretty different mindset to yeah. vicissitude to you uh, yeah. in order to do that. All right. So I'm going to come down. 
Probably not. Nothing definite, but I would say you suspect that lupines or gangrel make more sense. Possible. It's a Zemitsi and Zulu war form, but no. Or is Zemitsi trying to, for some reason, actively disguise his presence as a Zemitsi? There's no sign of vicissitude here. So, I'm gonna, it's probably more, more probable, more plausible that it is a were creature or possibly demon. All right. <laughs> Is there more than one? Does it? Are there different sizes of claws? Is it just um, all the of one? the claws look about the same size? Although there's so much damage around right. it, it would be hard for you to but tell. There's no... there's no grossly different sizes. Okay. So either it's a group of people that are all uh, roughly, roughly similar, the same size, or okay, just trying to see. Or it's one individual. So that's kind of what I'm looking for um, in future investigations. Is is there any sign that there's more than one? All right. Is there anyone else who wants to investigate here? Sean, why don't you do an investigation and see if you can figure out if there's more than one. Sure. All right, perception plus investigation. Seven one specialty. All right. So, uh, let's see. Uh, looking uh, at what you can, um, it seems as though uh, the whoever attacked this place came in from only one direction. So that does suggest maybe it's only one person. There are other ways in or out that other ones could have taken, or everyone chose to come in through the same entrance. Maybe they're walking in single file to hide their numbers. They could be doing that. Um, you, The entrance that they took is the one nearest to the gate, so it's possible they all just charge through this way. Um, from the looks of the destruction, it doesn't seem like they needed to implement any real tactical thinking here. They basically overwhelmed them easily. Um, another thing you've noticed is there doesn't seem to be any uh, like blood or anything like that from the attackers. Um, it seems like you can't find any sign of injury. Everything seems to be coming from the victims. So... Right. So it was a massacre then. So... One-sided, yeah. Even... Yeah. Well, I mean, even if... So, was that the same in the, in the guard tower as well? Um, he unloads this clip into him, but there's, like, no real... Damage. Damage at all in this... Guy. Did these guys get off any shots, or do these? These some of them got off shots, yes. And still, no. So he's taken a full clip, and yet. Uh, shots, I mean, still. Or he's no doesn't answer. leave behind any damage. Right. So like a lupine. To answer the question, yeah. I think you were gonna ask. Okay. I think hypothetically, even if it was normal bullets, a werewolf should still bleed a bit, right? Um, they, they would bleed a little bit heal. unless they just uh like completely Soak it. soaked it. Um, they might. Then they would only bleed, like, a tiny amount, like the amount you'd bleed from, like, cutting yourself shaving, basically. And right, that would I definitely, wouldn't wouldn't, find that. that wouldn't be distinguishable from anything else. Certainly not. There's no blood trails leading off, is basically what... What you found, so this, he did not appear to be, okay. Alright, well, this is not good news. No, it is not. There's no one at the compound to resist you. This is great news. Yeah, except for whatever the hell this were creature is. <laughs> no, hold on. We don't know if it, this is at the compound still. I think we should make the... Oh, and I forgot to mention this also, but um, from the condition of the bodies, uh, it looks as though uh, whatever happened didn't happen too long ago. I was going to say, what, yeah. Is mm. there any decomposition going um, on? Or there is, is like the past few hours? a little bit of... mortis set in decomposition going on and so it's possible it could have without like a full autopsy it's hard to know in the jungle obviously things rot pretty quick right um it probably yeah. is somewhere between a few hours to around a day okay i was gonna say so we're sort of you're after, in that timeline after you're, rigor mortis is said you're in the near yeah it's not okay. right before you got here but it's not a week okay, ago so, either okay so this may have been like earlier in the day it may have been earlier we're, this we're there, evening, or it may have been night. during the day, or it may have been late last night. Okay. Okay. Alright, 
So if it's there, it's it's sleeping somewhere in the heart of the Maybe. compound. Maybe. Or possibly it's left. We don't know. Or so it could still be here. It could have taken over. Or it we could be know. hiding somewhere. <laughs> or it could be hiding somewhere, watching us as we're doing this. So anyway, yikes. All right, All where right, to now? Where to next? <laughs> Yes, um, the main building, unless we actually do want to investigate the outhouses. Um, I have the feeling that buildings probably... Mm -hmm. So, can we tell, like, coming in, going out, where, like, where it's possible, what it's possible route was? Um, it's hard to tell, but it looks like generally they went around to all of the outbuildings, wrecked them up, and then probably went inside the main house. Um, you can see that the doors to the main house are also damaged. Okay. So. I don't know. You want to check each of the individual out buildings or just get this over with? Do we have a reason not to just take our time? Um, I don't know. Has the, has the serpent guy... Uh, come back and said, uh, what the fuck are you guys doing? Get in here? Not yet. Okay. Well, then I say we take our time and see what we can learn. Yeah, likewise. No reason to, no reason to rush it. The situation is pretty much the same in all the other outbuildings. Okay. Right. <laughs> that's a, right. that's a, <laughs> a storyteller's way of telling you to get moving. Nothing. Yet. All right. In we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Players are like, can we make perception rolls? And DM's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So what's the plan, guys? Uh, continue well, to sneak in the way that we have before? Yeah, All right. same uh, yeah. reason. Well, you should probably uh, <laughs> use Auspic to see if there's anyone inside yeah. the building that you can see at all, in the main house. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Give me a perception plus empathy. Seven with a special key. I'm also gonna go toilet for just a few seconds. All right. So, so we did go to the outhouse. He did go to the outhouse. <laughs> um, he doesn't find anything. Okay. So either they're at a level of obfuscate that he can't see. Possible. You know, we're going to walk in there and the guy's going to, like, de-obfuscate and we're all going to die. Alrighty. So. What are you guys going to do? That's a very good question. And these doors look I like... Suppose I should these doors have, and try to sneak in. have also been destroyed. Yes. Is everyone else kind of going to be following in pretty close behind you? Yeah, I figure we're staying, sticking pretty close together at this point. Alright. In that case, uh, give me a marching order as you're going inside. What kind of formation are you in? Well, Hassan will probably go first. I would say, I would say uh, me, followed by Sean, followed by... Is it Leon still? No, I'm Lysia. Lysia. Uh, followed by Abigail, followed by Joseph. So you trust Joseph, uh, A, to be the closest to Abigail, and B, to be watching your guys' back? Unfortunately, I do. Yeah, that would, I, would, I would probably agree with that order. Because you don't actually yeah. have to mark in... I might, I might you don't have to put, march in single file, either. You guys say, could... I might put Abigail a little bit in front of me, just so I can... <laughs> back, back. Well, you can walk alongside that field then. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd, I'd, I'd be a little... You guys could do, like, a triangle sort of thing, too. You could put Jean in front, and then you and, uh, Joseph could be behind, and then Abigail could be in the middle of you. Why am I in front? Uh, because you have Auspex. I'm, I'm the one all the way in front. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, the invisible guy should... So, um, so yeah, no, I agree with, I agree with Miles. I think Hassan should be in front, and then, it, whether we're in pairs, in the sort of a diamond shape sort of yeah. thing. Um, I'm just saying, if you, you know. wanted to make sure that Abigail was safe, that would probably be the best way to do it. 
Yeah, yeah. in that case, we're doing that. Yeah. But Priority uh, number one. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, Jean and I will kind of flank Abigail, and then Joseph will bring up the rear and because there's only, well, there's only five of us. Well, he's the one please. that. Well, he would be the point of the triangle, mm -hmm. rather than putting Joseph. And then there's so like you and Leon three. would be the back ones, and then he would be the front. Right, but where's Joseph? He and Joseph are in you. Front? No, you. Okay, you no, hold on. and I'm Joseph are in the back. Mm -hmm. Abigail the is in the middle of the middle, and then Jean, you, Jean, and Joseph are the triangle, and Abigail is in the middle of it. Give me you, literally one sec. Give me literally five seconds. You and Jean. You, sure. Do you see? Do you see where my thumbs are? Yeah. This is you. This is Joseph. Right. This is me and just me and Joseph in the back. Yes. Abigail in the middle. Jean in the front. Yes. Well, it's more of a T shape then. N no, it's a triangle with Abigail in the middle of because it. A she imagine be... Abigail being a dot in the middle of a triangle. One second. Right, and then there's each... nobody flanking her. <laughs> but there. No. Okay. This. <laughs> I'm in front, Abigail in the middle. You free around her. Yes. Yeah, this, that's what I was going to say. Yes. We're flanking her, but Joseph is kind of hanging back to keep... So, Jean and I are looking Joseph at Joseph wouldn't be hanging back in that situation. Joseph would be Joseph right there. Joseph to the left or right, and you taking the other one, and Jean in front of her. Joseph, you, Jean. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, yes, you're I obsessed with Joseph her... not being with okay, you, and what that's what I was going to have was, like, Jean I'm sure the, the listeners left. are enjoying this. Me yeah, taking seriously. the right and Joseph taking the back kind of a thing. Yeah, so that but in that case, like something could direction. come in from the front and get right, Abigail. Right, but Hassan's in the front, is what I'm saying. We well, got Hassan in the yeah, front. Yeah, but he's distended from the rest of the party, is what I was thinking, because he's I invisible. Was, uh, did I not specifically say, yes, we're all hanging close together at this point, because something's going to jump Close together in the sense of the same room, but I'm saying you're not in, like, hand distance to each other. But you were talking... So... My whole point... If it's, if it's about the quietest thing, I, am, I believe Abigail could probably do that, too. So, no, it was just, I, uh, he asked for the marching order, and <laughs> my understanding was that it was Hassan in front, and then us on the side, so that we're more of a diamond slot with Abigail in the middle. You could so do like that as well. The, so I, was I was just saying this was one possibility if your main okay. concern was keeping Abigail safe. And I was saying that was another possibility if our main concern is to keep Abigail safe. So, what do you want to do? I like both ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you Star. <laughs> Very kind of you. I don't actually care which way it goes. In that case, we're doing this one. Okay. 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 The Ductus threw up a battle plan. <laughs> yeah. I grab the stick and I sketched it on the ground outside. All right. <laughs> okay. In we go. So. Huh. You guys begin uh, to move forward. You know, the other thing, though, is you could spin that around. So you could put Joseph right you next to John. Stop. Stop. We're done. <laughs> All right. You guys begin to move into the house. As you enter uh, the main area, you can see it opens up into a large uh, foyer with staircases running along either side. And uh, there are also doors going off along the sides. And uh, there is another doorway directly in front of you. Um, from what you can see of the stairs, they have pretty much collapsed. There is a way um, along one of half of one of the staircases is still mostly intact. You could try and sidle along it, but it does look precarious. What? If we do that, I believe it should be just me, since I can do it without making any noise, and I have the best trouble for it. Any objections to that? No. I'm cool with that. Alright then. Let's try that then. Alright. Uh, Joseph is hoping his son falls to his death. <laughs> <laughs> I will then be Dr. Ah. Come on now, we're pals. Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. Very, I apologize for killing him. He apologized for killing Abigail. All right. So uh, you're going up there. Uh yeah, for now. All right. Give me a dexterity plus athletics. Eight. All right. 
While this is happening, Jean, give me a perception plus alertness. Uh-oh. Six. Uh, before you say anything else, um, is Abigail using quietness? Did we decide to whether she was doing that? Um, she would need to because John can't sneak. I mean, you guys are right, just kind of standing still right now okay. in the entryway. You're not really making any noise. Okay. Um, she'll do it if you guys want to, but it's not, definitely so not we, nece a necessity. A move, then she will. All right. So I'll leave it for you to decide if she did that right now or not. Does anyone want her to? She doesn't need to. If we move forward. No, who cares? If we, All right, then. If right. If we Not move, yet. I was going to say, if we move forward, yes, she will. But if Jean, we go into uh, battle, you start to necessary. smell something really foul, uh, in addition to, obviously, the carrion smell that's been everywhere. There's something else that's a little bit different. You are only now noticing it as you're watching him, Asan, climb up, and you have a chance to kind of smell around. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it smells like, uh, I don't know, something is definitely off. It's hard for you to even kind of put your finger on what it is. It's, uh, you're sensing it through smell, but it's maybe something that uh, a regular person couldn't really smell themselves. You're being... I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> it's I'm been sorry. Heightened. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been heightened through Auspex. It's something you can't talk about with a pack member. <laughs> No matter how much you may want to. Hmm. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some sort of gas um, filtering into the air. I will oh, no. Everyone, I will tell everyone this right away. That's bad. And I, will then, and I will then try to attempt to find if it's coming from any direction. Is it like explosive kind of gas? That's what I'm worried about. All right. Um, it could be. We if, should probably. I don't know if Jean wants to suggest the possibility to everyone. Well, uh, if he doesn't, I will. Uh, well, yeah, you don't need me to suggest. So you guys are already saying it. Yeah. So you mentioned that it could be explosive. Uh, let's. We're in the right. entryway. Then you right? fulfilled the the karmic conditions. <laughs> you are near the entryway. Yes. So let's. As I as I, pulling Abigail. All right. As I back out of the entryway, say it might be explosive. All right, then the karmic I rush out. the karmic uh, fulfillment well. has occurred. So, as that Ooh, happens, uh -oh. an explosion rips through the building. Wow! So, uh, first off, uh, what I am going to need is a uh, courage roll from everyone, just to see if everything that happens from this point on is occurring while you guys are in frenzy. Um, All right, so, um, uh, I can't roll higher than my rating, can I? No, you mm. cannot. Remember, no one can hold, roll a virtue Three. higher than their path rating. Uh, two. Yeah, mine's two, then. All right. Mine is three. Because is that depraved. Four. What happened while I was going? Um, Wait, what are we rolling? Courage. We're in an exploding yeah, okay, building four, now. Four. All right. Yeah. Because Jean smelled explosive <laughs> gas and... I know Star Wars and it escalated quickly. I got left for like a solid 15 seconds. Yeah, well, yeah. All right. That's how quick it goes in this game. So... After hours of agonizing conversation, something <laughs> finally <laughs> happened. Uh, so first off... Uh, no one is uh, immediately in a uh, frenzy as long as no one tries to go nearer to the fire. Um, and then I'm also going to need... The ground is basically rocked, and Joseph and Jean, you both feel your feet fall out from under you as the floor collapses. This is what you can see okay. backing up, Lysia, as you are, and you are pulling Abigail. She does not uh, fall down. Uh, she, however, uh, does go into frenzy. So she, uh, starts resisting you. Hassan, you're up on the staircase. You're not in frenzy, but the explosion, uh, is knocking you loose. So first off, we'll start with you. Uh, give me a strength plus athletics. Let's see here. That would be six. 
All right. You grab a hold of a uh, railing and you manage to hold yourself into place. Now, uh, Joseph and Jean, give me dexterity plus athletics rolls. Uh, mine is uh, six and a half cat like reflex. All right, that will definitely apply here. Minus five. And you have cow-like reflexes. <laughs> reflexes. All right. So, uh, give me a uh, star with you land just fine. Uh, Jean, what is your stamina? Tree. All right. Uh, you land at kind of an awkward angle, but you absorb the impact. Uh, Stallworth, like, flips around in the air like Spider-Man and lands perfectly. All right. Thank you, thank you. A little flare at the end with the arms out. Crouched. And now, uh, for Lysia, uh, Abigail immediately goes into frenzy and begins attempting to escape from your grasp. So, okay. uh, if you want to keep a hold of her, I'm going to require, uh, strength plus, uh, just strength. Uh, that's gonna be four. Or, four. Two. Sorry. <laughs> I looked at the four by my, that's what I have Feeling to spend. Feeling a bit too, uh, confident there for a second. And that's what I have to spend in order to get another point of... It's four times the physical thing. All right. Um, she rips free of your uh, grasp, uh, heads out. You see her emerge, go out through the door ahead of you, and uh, as you go out yourself, you don't see her. Yeah, she obfuscated dog on it. Um, okay. So, looking back, you can see the place. There does seem to be a fire that is going on. It's coming out of one of the side rooms, and it is basically kind of covering around the hole where they fell through. Although you can see there is, uh, you guys could try, Hassan is free to go up or back down uh, the stairs as well. Okay. But the if you guys wanted to stay on the first floor and try and find another way in. So, but I can see that Jean and Joseph are okay. Have fallen through have a fallen hole through and there are flames blocking them. the way to it. So, I should probably help them. Well, you, uh... Is there a way down to them? No? You don't know. It's some, they're somewhere beneath you. And then Hassan is up on the second Hassan floor? Hassan is up on the second floor, but he could come down to the first floor. And into the flames? Uh, none, none of you, uh, can go into the actual flames. Um... But nobody is on fire right now. No. You did not, uh, no one got high enough on their courage rolls that you can go close to the flames without expending willpower points. However, okay. um, no one went into frenzy. And but, no one is on fire right now. But I could run around the outside and look for another yes. possible way out? Yes. You guys could find a window or another okay. door. So I'm saying it would be very easy for you guys to find. Okay, so I will go around and try and knock out a window or whatever and yell, hey, over here, or whatever. Try and find another exit for them. All right. Uh, Hassan, what are you going to do? Well, uh, did I see what happened to the others, or was I too busy with myself? Um, you were trying to hold on, but you did see, I mean, there's a big hole where Jean and Joseph used to be covered over with flames, so it's a fair bet where they went. Hmm. Do I see, uh, any sort of rope or anything I could use to get down to them? Um, no, and actually even approaching the hole in general, you can't you bring yourself to get closer to the fire without, A, spending, you could spend willpower points to do it, also, you would burn yourself. Okay. So you would be spending willpower points for the privilege of taking aggravated damage. Yeah, um, I'm good. I'm good. Like, I'll uh, stay on the first floor then, if that seems to be relatively safe. All right. Uh, Lizia's trying to find a way in. You could try and regroup with her as well. I was well. going to say, you might want to... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Try and, yeah, try and... If we're shouting to each other, I'll be shouting, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for another way in, blah, blah, blah. When Abigail left, uh, was she obfuscated? Yes. Um, yeah. Shite. Yep. That's kind of so why I didn't, that I, was... I, I, I'm not even aware that she left then. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll inform you of, of that later, and we'll just hope for the best there. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. 
So probably hide in one of the outbuildings or get lost horribly in the jungle. Or mm-hmm. she'll probably okay. hide. You know what? I will find. I will summon some animals and I will tell them to find her. There you go. Okay, I already know. Easy. All right. Okay. Do that. Hopefully she doesn't get well, kidnapped. Well, I'm not going to do it right now because my companions are in a flaming inferno. So <laughs> one thing at a time here. Speaking of your companions in Speaking a flaming of my inferno. Computer. Uh, Jean and Joseph, you guys feel your feet go out from under you. Joseph lands like Spider-Man. Jean, you land basically on your shoulder, but you don't actually injure yourself in any way. Uh, you can see that up above you, uh, there is fire all around the hole you fell through. Um, the wood around there looks worm-eaten, and as it's, like, burning, uh, you suspect it may not hold up too long. So the roof directly well, over you may come down on top of you at some point. Well, shit. How do we get out? Um, you are in, well, it seems to be kind of like an alcove. Um, you're at sort of a dead-end hallway, but there is a path directly in front of you. All right, well, gotta take the path, eh? All right. Based on the direction you fell from, you can see that the path would, it goes underneath, but it also goes further into mm. the house. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, we don't have time to think about it, though, so let's get out from under the roof. <laughs> no, let's take our time. I don't see any hurry. Let's do some perception rolls. <laughs> nah. So, Joseph, do you agree? Or are you going to go with him? Definitely. All right. So you guys uh, start marching further into the darkness. Um... Looking around, this does look like kind of a... It's pretty unfinished, but it is definitely a basement. It's not like natural caverns. Um, theoretically, if it is a basement, there should be obviously a staircase that goes up. Somewhere. Mm. Um, as you're kind of stepping forward, though, uh, you hear like a splash. And um, you can see that you've stepped into some sort of liquid. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh. Oh no. Does it smell like gasoline? Can I smell the liquid? Alright. You <laughs> you lean down and smell the liquid. Um it doesn't really smell like anything. It seems like it's water. Okay. <laughs> that would <Okay>. suck. <laughs> well that's why I'm like, oh crap, you guys just walked into a pool of gasoline in a flaming house. Um, it's deep though, like your first step into it, it comes up just below your knee. Well, you what the fuck? Know. Well, that's spooky. I hate water levels. And this is <laughs> under the house? Yep. Well, you're not going to burn up then. It's true. Could, could this be some type of getaway type of Our thing? Perception. Uh, yeah, give me a perception plus empathy. Any sharks? Seven with a specialty. Specialty in sharks? Is this going to be that part of Resident Evil where you're in waste high water and there's that zombie? When the sharks come zombie out? Shark. Fucking zombie shark, yeah. That's like the easiest boss fight in the game. Yeah, but like, I don't personally like it because I've always been scared of sharks as a kid. <laughs> he, added that, sharks he added that as a kid. Mm -hmm. In real life, David oh, yeah. is <laughs> nervously Not looking out now. his window to see if there's a shark. Now, I'm, now, <laughs> now he can just watch Jaws without crying. Duncan and Daxter fucked me up when I was a kid, alright? <laughs> alright. <laughs> Not oh, the God. Amnesia Border level? Nah. That's gay. So looking around, uh, wow. you see Joseph's aura, but you uh, yeah. do not see any auras around you. In the water? Right. Um, one thing that, well, I'm going to have to <gasps> tell you this secretly. <gasps> it's a shark. <laughs> no, you're sensing a sin. Yeah, well, I have to tell you about the sin. You sensing sense. the shark. <laughs> Sense the shark. That's the level 2 power. The most frightening of powers. Oddly specific, but oddly useful. Oh yeah. When it comes up, you're really glad you have it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he's really, uh, he's really typing, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, this was a long sentence. He sure is typing. That sure is a lot of sharks. Oh, God. 
<laughs> One shark is feeling guilty about having committed multiple murders. Another is not. All right. What? <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm going to go grab a snack, and I'm going to let you think about that while I'm gone. And then we'll decide what you guys do when I come back. All right, I've already told you what I'm going to do. All right. Now I'm interested. Now I'm excited. Now, now we'll see what happens. Sorry, uh, Joseph, you're going to be killed by the um, Infernalists that you are unfortunately paired with. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very nice. You guys thought I was a bad guy. Mm -hmm. Now we always knew it was John. With his whole, I'm gonna stay on the path of humanity. For the record, I still think you're a bad guy. Well, even <laughs> after you die, I'm gonna think you're a bad guy. Thank you for the consistency, at least. <laughs> you're welcome. You might not be a bad guy, but you're definitely a bad guy. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'm with the party. I like you. Thank you. I, I try. Has John gone down once he realized he was alone with Joseph immediately freaked out? Mm. You know, apparently he's going to do something here. Yeah, I told him what I'm going to do. And more typing. <laughs> yep, more typing. Middle one is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> middle one? Okay, now yeah, I'm really yeah, apparently, interested. Yeah, apparently, there must have been several uh, selections. <laughs> Possibilities of ways to kill Joseph. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we're in this room with water. Uh huh. Uh, I'll ask, I'll ask Joseph what he thinks of this. Does he see anything? And I'll look around myself as well. <laughs> Do you see the giant shark that is about to eat you? No? Alright, I'll just let it happen. <laughs> um, well. Do you can see that too? Can I take a look around, see if I yeah. see any? Does the water lead somewhere? Um, perception plus investigation. Is there like a cavern? That's two. Do you remember that part what? of Spaceballs where they're combing the desert and then they go over to the guy with the little comb and he says, We ain't found shit! Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, there okay. we go. I don't see shit. <laughs> you, that's your, that's your two right there. I fucking love that movie. It's pretty good. Well, uh, John, what, what do you suggest? What do I see? I've got all specs and shit. Well, What's that your was big in your comb? PM. That's what so, you see. Perception plus investigation? Seven with a specialty. He's gonna give you the public version of what I see. Um, I mean, it's, uh, there's definitely a fire behind you, and more things have caved in behind you. It is coming your way. Um, you can yeah. see that the water goes out. Um, and then it seems like the roof of the place actually slopes down and then goes under the water. Um, that's all you can oh, see. Gosh. The water itself is, like, black. It's... You guys don't need to breathe your vampires. Um, beyond that, there doesn't seem to be any way out of this place. It seems pretty empty. Go in the under the underwater cavern. See what's there. Alright, so I want to clarify some real-world knowledge. So mm -hmm. if I recall correctly from an episode of Mythbusters... <laughs> 
a gun can work underwater like once or twice before it fucks up. Yeah. <laughs> um, if the powder Are we in agreement on that. The powder if the powder is dry, then yes, it would function. It would go off. It probably wouldn't work as well. Uh, as in, it would be difficult to aim with it, and then I. There's gotta feel the water, water though, on the bullet it's yeah gonna, it's not gonna go straight necessarily it would be a very very high difficulty and you're probably only gonna get one shot and it'll probably fuck up your ears all right mm. uh yeah probably do that too but you feel uh, that because you're a vampire yeah okay good to know um so yeah we own we own uh, uh joseph looks like we gotta go sure um let's let's go. let's go I got a hand on my gas. So you guys and walking... I have my machete. Are you guys walking <laughs> shoulder to shoulder, or is one person behind the other one? Uh, I think shoulder. Shoulder is the, the formation for this situation. What do you think? How sure. wide? How wide is the aperture in which they need to... Um, um, it would yeah, be tight, but you probably could make it. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's do it that way. All right. We so wade in and then we start swimming, I guess. Wade in, and yes, obviously, um, it's not just the ceiling. Obviously, the floor does also go down, and the water starts coming up. And eventually, it comes up over your head. And down here, um, once you're under the water, you can see a little bit. It looks like there's a lot of garbage and stuff down here as well, floating in the water with you. I would think you'd just be looking for auras, because it's going to be dark underground in the water. You're not going to With Auspects, he can see yeah, but well. If he's, but it, anything living is going to give off an aura glow. It's true. And I mean... That's what I'd be. The way yeah, Auspects improves dark. your vision, um, you could see pretty well, even in bad conditions like that, too. Still, I, I'm, I'm still keeping an eye out for auras, though. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you uh, wade through... Uh, the garbage and stuff, and then eventually the path starts to lead back upwards. Um, at this point, you basically have to take... Joseph can't see shit. Um, so you're gonna have to basically you take to his hand, hand yeah. to lead him through. Yeah. Sure. I got right. you, Joseph. Thanks, man. And let me just, uh... Give another PM about Send you how... one thing that happens while you're down there. Is this all just like, okay, and you're so scared, you shit your pants, but you don't want anybody to know? <laughs> it's not actually. Are you gonna kill us all? Joseph uh, is feeling really good about hearing all this typing uh, while he's being led by the hand. Definitely. Socks just fucking with you. Alright. I got you, bro. I hope. I got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Stalworth, uh, what is your character's wits plus alertness? <laughs> Five. All right. So you get, yeah, you guys kind of twist and turn a little bit. You get kind of a good feeling of the way you came back through. You think you kind of remember it. Um, you know, in case it comes up. Uh, all right. 
it feels like uh, Jean was kind of like leading you around stuff at times. Like dangerous, alive stuff? Maybe. You couldn't nah. see anything. You'd have to ask him about it. Anyway, Jean eventually Oscar? you guys emerge back up and it kind of is like a hallway you were in before, but on the other side <clears throat> now. Alright, so... You guys nervously eye one another. So, uh... What was that stuff in that cave? Just obstacles. Just had to swim around them. There was not a lot of life, thank fuck. Uh... So it wasn't like bodies or stuff like that? <laughs> was it bodies, Zach? You didn't see any. Publicly. No. <laughs> 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 only only the stuff I told you in private it was fully applicable I didn't see any th bodies privately either <laughs> um, I, will, I will be honest <laughs> so you guys gonna continue forward yeah. All right. As you're progressing along, the hallway seems to open up a little bit, and eventually you reach a large room um, where there's more just kind of garbage strewn around, like storage area. There is, uh, you can see there's like a big, uh, what well, used to be like a big pillar in the middle of the room, uh, part of the foundation of the house, but it has been completely uh, destroyed. And around on the walls, you can see large gouge marks, which look like claws. Hmm. Well, I repeat what you said. I was, I was talking with my mom. <laughs> uh, you're in a room where a pillar, like a big pillar that was part of the foundation of the house, was destroyed. And there are now claw marks on the walls. Like werewolf claws. Yeah, like something that might have come down here and killed things and left bodies and put them in the water. Yeah. But for some reason, an ally, a an ally, air quotes, won't admit it. <laughs> I see. What do you mean won't admit it? <laughs> anyway, the fact that the pillar is gone means we probably shouldn't stick around to investigate, so we should just move quick. Yes, probably, uh... A good idea. Alright. You guys... <laughs> you guys uh, kind of stride forward. And you can see that there are more hallways leading off of this place. It's like a maze down here, essentially. And as you're kind of trying to decide between two paths that look exactly the same, um, you hear a, like a scream, or maybe more like a roar, come from further somewhere else in the basement. Mm hmm. So, it was more of a roar than a scream. I would say it's more like a roar. Scream was a bad word. Okay. It was more confident than a scream. Okay. So, and you said it came from from the opposite of where we are? Um, it came from somewhere inside the maze ahead of you. There's basically a path going directly forward, and there's a path going basically off to the right, and it felt like uh, it came from in a diagonal between them. Wait, you okay, said this right. is a maze? Um, yeah, it looks maze. like we it's some kind of maze. Shot. Fucking uh, internalist, okay. right? <laughs> just build so a normal just... basement. Yeah. So is this your basement a maze? It's gotta be like the whole minotaur thing. Yep. Yeah. Well... You could be a were creature, a minotaur. So, alright, before anything else, it's not worth to check your PMs. <laughs> all right oh my you take second as much off. damage as david says he does it's all yeah. okay <laughs> second off uh i i mean there doesn't there's no discernible preference between the directions so far is there zach not really no ours um 
Well, actually, you do have aspects, right? Give me... You can't see any auras, but do give me a uh, perception plus alertness. All right, six with a specialty. All right. It's hard to tell exactly which way, because they do both obviously, like, turn corners, and it is like a maze. So it's hard to tell exactly which one will lead you to danger. You get a sort of general aura sense that you should go uh, off to the right, rather than directly in front of you. But it is just a vague aura sense. And if this was a botch instead of a success, it may uh, fuck you. Gotcha. Uh... How wide is the labyrinth? Do we have to go single file or what? No, you guys could go shoulder to shoulder. All right. Although it would be kind of tight, but... Do you think it would affect a roll of any sort? Um, anything that required, uh, like, wide swing movements with your arms, probably, like, uh, using the machete, uh, Stalith would be at a disadvantage. Um, shooting your gun wouldn't be, really. But your gun is... Alright, then stalwart. Uh, trying to dodge, you guys could easily trip over each other. Okay. But how many, like, his gun has been underwater, so he's only gonna get, like, one shot with the gun, right? Well, no, he's out of the water now. You, I... I'm out of the I'll water. Say there's, you, there's no telling until I try if, if, if it affected yeah. the gun, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'll try fucking. I hope you kept your I'll try dry. opening up the thing a bunch of times to see if I get some water to come out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can stay there and do that if you want to. I could give you a perception plus firearms check to check the weapon, but that requires you staying there and checking it. Yeah. So I don't know if it's worth. For now, I'll have my AK out. I think that's the right choice. All right. And uh, all right, so start with you there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think going side to side might be a risk. So maybe going single file is the way to go. In which case, uh, in all fairness, it probably makes sense for you to be in front here the fighter. <laughs> but I want, but I want to, I want to run that by you and ask if you're okay with that. Every yeah, step so... of the way, he makes it sound so reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you really don't trust me, I will go shoulder to shoulder with you. It's, it's you. so plausible that it makes sense. <laughs> no. I hope you checked your PM. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm cool with single file. All right. Just just keep your eyes open for me, so you know I don't get caught off guard. Yeah, I got our perception up, so I'll see any monsters if they're invisible. So side to side. No, he's in front. He's in front. Single file. Single file. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you've successfully put yourself in a position where he can't effectively use his weapon on you. Good. Yep. Execution style, back of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, which direction do you go? So, well, my aura perception told me to go right. Yes. So, I say we trust that. But in character, I'll be like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not very confident, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty dodgy. It's up to you. Because I got low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh, wait. Well, your aura perception says go which... Right. Instead right. of straight. Right it is. All right. right. I love, what I'm really impressed by, David, is not only have you controlled exactly what he does, you've made it seem like Joseph is making all of the decisions himself. That was... Yeah, I'm really good. Expert. <laughs> he's like, he's like that king in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Just let me know when, uh, like, the plan goes into effect. Just send me, like, a PM when you're I'll pulling you the know. trigger, so to speak. I'll let you know. Why yeah, are you yeah. like that? <laughs> so to speak. Not so to, to say speak. you're pulling so a literal so trigger, speak. but like a trigger. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing the god cards. On the plan. All right. Let me know when you feel like you've fully assembled all five pieces of, of Exodia. Yeah, the on. save Stallworth plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The I love Star Wars plot. <laughs> so you start marching forward. 
It's getting worse. You are going to die, so we're <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we're laying nah. it on thick here. <laughs> nah, nah, listen, alright? Zach was trying to fuck with me in the... It didn't work. And now he's trying to fuck with you. That's what's going on. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the final boss of this fucking thing turned out to be the DM. What I again. really appreciate is that David can't see the messages Stallworth sends me. <laughs> uh. Oh, the tangled webs. Alright. So, now that we've established you two fully trust each other, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you go off to the right. Um, as you guys are uh, going through, are you trying to move <laughs> stealthily? Alright, so there's a balance, isn't there, Stallworth? Because uh, we're... Still trying to escape from the inferno on the collapsing roof, but there's also a potential monster. Yes. Um, so would you I say mean... you're conflicted? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm bamboozles. I suppose we can try to go stealthily. And yeah. You trust the roof to hold up? Ah. Uh... Up so far. <laughs> You can you sure. can see like auras through walls, right? Yeah. Okay, so if the monster got like anywhere near us, you would know beforehand. Once it got close enough for me to see them, yeah. If it has oh. an aura. If it has an aura, if it doesn't have a higher level of obfuscate than he can see. That's true. Oh. <laughs> well. That is true. I mean, in that case, we're probably going to be fucked regardless. <laughs> thinking <laughs> so we might as well just try to get out of here as quick as possible all right so we're gonna go quickly sprint yeah and um, i'm gonna need some strength plus athletics rolls say, i don't know if you want to go like all out sprinting you do want to be able to react in time well i say go quickly maybe not sprinting i don't want to leave john the dust so, all right, all right, all right, I all right, think you all need right, that so. Star Trek. I am walking determinedly. To Power where, walking. Yeah, to where I am going. Well, yeah. So, well, so I was thinking like military style, where they kind of run up to every corner, but then they stop and like peek around a corner before kind of running again. Yeah. Ah, I was gonna say. Make sure to yeah. explain. Check your corners. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you got a little fiber optic wand you can put around. Something. Clear. <laughs> Monster, frag out. So <laughs> All right. Anyway, does that sound good to you, Sour? Yeah, it sounds good. All right. So you're not making strength plus athletics or dexterity plus stealth rolls. Yeah. All right. Got that happy balance. You're in the tail, guys. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> that can either mean there's no roll to fail, or it could also mean there's no roll to succeed at. <laughs> we came to the fork in the road. We went straight. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you went right, actually. We went right, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. He was metaphorical. He was metaphorical. <laughs> I guess. Right. Like the trigger. I guess you Thank you. All right. So as you guys are going through, you're kind of marching and you're looking around corners. And uh, you're coming up to a corner. Uh, and, uh, Joseph, you're the one who looks around. So it's uh, on your side. Uh, and you're... Wait, you're in front. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, you'd come up to it first, so give me a perception plus alertness. Oh, isn't that like two? Uh oh. You really should have been front, Jean. That will be four. Oh, there is no four. light here, uh, which does obviously increase the difficulty for you. All right. Uh, so this is where Jean sees the uh, problem in his plan. Um, you cannot see anything, but you definitely hear something moving directly in front of you. All right, when you say directly, like how, like a foot in front of me, or like uh, five? No, nah, not a foot. More like a couple of yards. Oh, okay. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I have one point of obtenebration. I'm going to do my best to cover myself in shadows and cover John if I can. And I'm going to be like, John, like I hear something. Uh, take a look and see what it is. 
I hope they're far enough away that that works. <laughs> <laughs> so spend a blood I mean, point sure. to activate uh, your shadows. Got it. And, uh, Jean, give me a dexterity plus stealth. Dex plus stealth is four. You creep around uh, and stick your head out, and uh, you are able to see pretty clearly um, there is some kind of large creature. Uh, it's hard to see exactly what it was. It seems to be, uh, it's like facing away from you, it, like walks down a little bit and then thrashes around and then turns another way. Um, it's just walking around this sort of nexus of the, where all the corridors meet, uh, where several corridors meet up. Um, there's the corridor you're coming from and then it's like a T, uh, going off away from you and off to either side. All right. Um, and he's just walking back and forth, um, occasionally emitting noises like the ones you heard before. Um, and you can definitely see, it's hard to see a, a lot of features, um, but you definitely see large claws. Could I ask the GM to enact the noises it makes? <laughs> does, it, does it have an aura? Uh, it does have an aura, um, and from what you can see, uh, give me a perception plus empathy. Seven with a specialty. Um, it has a black aura, uh, definitely like it's, uh, infernal of some kind. Hmm. Or using infernal powers, but it is so that not sort of. Any sort of wear creature. Or it's an infernalist wear creature. An infernalist wear creature. Didn't know so, not a wear creature. Could be. I mean, the black well, spiral dancers are kind of I infernalist guess, so wear creatures. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Fair. That's where I was going to go. Was, yeah. But we don't know about those. You're just yeah, in character, you don't know about those. But in character, you don't know there aren't infernalists. Right. I mean, there could be. There's infernalists of. Of everything else, so. Okay. It is standing a little bit higher than man height, um, but mm. it could just be a very tall man. That's it's that sort of height level. How broad is it? Uh, not too broad, actually. It does. It looks smaller than most of the werewolves you've seen so far. Um, so. Although, as it like wrenches out, it goes it rakes across the walls and absolutely just like splits the walls uh like masonry apart okay. but it's not like a it's not huge but it seems extremely strong all right so and the only option they have to move forward is into that room um they could go back and try and go the other way although they risk coming to the same uh corner it is sort of a nexus room that it's in, so you could try and, you know, move past it if you dared. While its back was turned, just slip into the other hallway. Alright, what do you think, John? Fuck, is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have proof that bullets don't work on it, don't we? from mm -hmm. those uh, memories I looked at. Yep. So I suppose it would be a rather hopeless fight. So uh, are you pulling the uh, trigger? <laughs> we this have is... two options. <laughs> okay. With inhuman strength, we... takes Joseph, flings him at the beast. My brother! While, while Jean <laughs> runs in a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> we it can, we it was an almost sacrifice, to, uh... Joseph, by. We could try to slip by it, or we could head back and try the other direction, just in case that doesn't lead back to this joint here in the paths. Hmm. Would sneaking back be the best option when there's a possibility that the roof is going to cave in on us, and we're going to be forced to come back this way anyway? Well. I really don't want to try to sneak back past that thing. 
You could also uh, wait for it to be on kind of the opposite side of the room and try and sprint past. That's false. <laughs> I have all confidence in the world that I can do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, can you, well, can you, well, hold you on. carried Lysia, can you carry Jean? Uh, no, actually, I could put, I could theoretically sprint just as well as him. I have celerity, and I could just buff up my stats well if I go. need. Well, maybe well, I have all the confidence in the world in both of us now. Okay, <laughs> so there you go. You better hope this thing Would you like to try that, then? Yeah, let's do it. So, 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 how about we try to sneak and sprint once we're caught? Yeah, I would go there. Yes, way. yes. So have the that sounds like the best. Okay, so for reference, Stalworth, you have Celerity 1? <laughs> no. You don't. <laughs> so you just have stats. Okay, fine. I mean, your stats are good anyway. <laughs> yeah, good stats. I was going to say, he <laughs> outran have... all the people with Celerity before. So. Do you have athletics? Um, yeah, I got one athletic. So wait, so your roll is six. That's not that good. And then I have three potents. Does potence count for yes, running? Yes, it does. Alright, so you've got like a roll of nine, that's good. Well, he's got a roll of six with three automatic successes. That's really good. Okay, in that case, my strength plus athletics will be four, so if I boost it up by two, then it will be at six, plus one celerity. Alright. Good thing you... And then stamina for, an, an, for a long run, so... Uh, all right, so well, I, uh, I need to take time to uh, buff my stats. Yeah, any blood and, buffing you want to do, do it now. And, Stalworth, you might want to buff some stamina. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, yeah. yeah, because if it turns into a chase scene, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll buff it up to... What do y'all suggest? Four, at least. Yeah, all right, I'll buff it up to four. It's also good for if you get, like, fucking, you know, raked in the back by his claws or something. Then you Very true. Plus your fortitude, see? Alright. Ah, yes. Actually, they'll probably be, uh, aggravated, aggravated claws, so it'll be just your fortitude, won't it? Yep. Well, we're fucked. Anyway, um, it's I'll also movement. prepare celerity. So Alright. now my plan of, you know... Suicide bombing doesn't look so bad. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah. All right, we doing this? All right. Yeah, let's do it. Give me a uh, dexterity plus stealth. Uh, Stalwarts is better, and so he'll go in front in because play? the one who's better at the one who's better at sneak should be in the front. I think. Oh, uh, well, mine's five. Mine is four. Are the shadows still in play from the obtenuation? Yes, system? they are still in play. Do you know what? I'm going to boost my dexterity as well. All so right. mine's fine. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to have a worse world than Stalworth. Well, no, I don't. Because obviously it could kill us. <laughs> it'll be your fault. Alright. So you are kind of like sneaking around this nexus area. Like, focused on the door you're heading to. By the way, which door are you heading to? Oh yeah, um, so one? let's see here. We went right. Yes. And we could have gone straight. So that means if the straight one leads here, then it is most likely the one to our left right now. So we don't want to go left. So the one to the right would be the closest from All where right. you're starting. Yeah. And if it doesn't well, Stalworth, so how about we take the right then? Because that is away from the previous path that we could have taken, definitely. I'm down with that path. All right. The right path. Let's keep turning right. So you guys are creeping towards this thing when behind you, you hear uh, a shriek. What do you want? Do okay. You... Is it just the shriek, or is he like... Just right. <laughs> There, it's up to you. You can wait and see what happens, but you're waiting to see what happens in that case. You can try and just keep. So they can't keep sneaking and look over their shoulder. It, uh, will it take? Would it take time for us? You to, could like, basically. Ask. You have the choice of looking back to see what's happening, or as soon as you hear it, 
booking it and hoping... Well, does it, does it take time for us to identify whether the shriek sounds like the monster in front of us? Or... Um, it does definitely sound like the monster. Um, you're not sure if it's just shrieking because it's shrieking or if it's shrieking because it saw yeah, you and saw it's you. running at you. The only way you'll see that is if you look at him running at you. Okay, so the same monster is behind us. It's not a fucking second monster. No, it doesn't sound like that. Okay, yeah, so let's sprint, yeah? Mmm. You can make different choices, too. You don't actually have time to really decide between each other. So if, Jean, you're saying definitely sprint, then your choice is to sprint. Yeah. All right, Joseph, what All are right. you doing? Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm behind him, so I think I have. I am bound by. <laughs> so he's like I'm pushing bound, you so, forward. Right, now hold on, hold on. I'm bound by what he does. So if I see him not running in front of me, surely I can react, not just barrel. Um, him, yeah? you can move around him. You're in a space where there's enough room to get around him. Okay. <laughs> so you just see Jean go sprinting past you. Listen, Star Wars, I really want to run. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we're, we're running then. All right. All right. So, give me strength plus athletics from both of you. Uh, that'll be six and three potent. And for me, it's six plus celerity. All right. Watch this damn monster hawk both of us down. Yeah. So you two both start booking it, uh, and John, you see that Stall or uh, is or that um, uh, Joseph rather is beginning to outpace you. <laughs> he seemed yeah. a little bit uncertain until like you were fully moving, but after that he starts going and he starts booking it down this corridor. Um, there's more screeching behind you, and it definitely heard you hears you now. Yeah. So, you hear this thing rumbling up behind you as you guys are tearing ass through this hallway. You go around one turn to your left. You go around one turn to your right. There is another uh, turn to your right. And then up ahead of you, you see uh, what looks to be a metal door. And you're... Uh, actually, Joseph, you can't see it. You're just booking your, it into darkness. Jean, you can see that there is a metal door just in front of the two of you. Uh, Joseph is about to hit it. I will scream and warn him that there's a metal, that there's a door in front of him. All right. So like, metal door, like uh, it's too hard for me to just run right through. If it's locked, um, so you might check to side, see if it's locked. It? It's closed. I'm assuming it is closed. Closed. But I mean, we don't know if it's locked. So has it got a handle, Zach? It does have a handle. All right, so uh, two scenarios. One, you stop and carefully try the handle. Or two, you barrel into the door. You either break through or get blocked and then try the handle. I don't think either takes longer than the other, so you should barrel into it first. All right, well... You've got potents and shit anyway, so there's a good say, chance you might just break he, through. But you, it would, I mean, depending on the... But hopefully it just doesn't go down. Because I guess if it went down, the creature would have taken it down, right? Too. I was thinking right. close it again afterwards and then there's a barrier between you and the creature. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open up the door. Are you gonna, are you gonna try Brian, break, break it open or are you gonna try the knob and try oh, no, I'm gonna like use the handle and if I if the if the handle don't work then I'm just gonna uh, right. try to You reach it, turn the handle, it opens. It's opening up just as Jean reaches you and you guys can both I assume you go inside. And close the yeah. door after you? All right, you are yes, inside yeah. of a room. Are you closing the door behind you? Yes. All right. Is uh, there a lock? You slam the door shut. You look for a lock. There is not a lock on the door. However, you see there is a place, uh, like a holder for a bar to be put in the way. Is there a bar? Uh, give me a perception plus alertness. All right, so I'm so I'm screaming for Joseph to hold the door while I look for a bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perception for alertness is six. All right. And I got I got aspects in it. Three aspects, yeah. All right, you find uh, a metal bar. You're not sure if it's the one you're supposed to use, but it is a metal bar, and you can slam it uh, into place. Uh, Starworth, give me a strength roll to see if you're able to hold this thing shut. Okay. Well, that's five and three potents, and I also have a specialty. 
Upper body. In holding doors shut against monsters? Upper body. <laughs> what that's called. Uh, you feel a tremendous weight slam into this thing, and you're knocked back for just a second, but you're pushing forward, so you immediately go back into it. It doesn't come through. Jean grabs the bar, puts it into place, and then, as you see, there is a sound, uh, a horrible scraping sound, and you see a pair of claws poke through the metal of the door. And we will go over to Hassan and Lizia for a okay. moment. We'll oh, return yes. to you. I would suggest wow. you guys run. <laughs> I, I really <laughs> thought we were safe. <laughs> uh, I knew the door was only going to hold it back a few extra seconds. I hoped this was a save room and there was a typewriter we could use to put our progress. <laughs> yeah, seriously. The stalkers don't follow you into save rooms. This one does. Alright. How do I use so, Hassan, Lizia, you guys uh, get around to a window in one of the side hallways and you're able to uh, wrench it open. Okay. And you guys are able to regroup together there on the first floor. Okay. All right. So we're here on the first floor. We're down on the basement. What happened? What happened? You were there. There was an explosion. But why? Because of the gas. Obviously, it was a trap. I see. So, Do you have Abigail with you? Abigail went into frenzy, ran off obfuscated. I will call some animals and have them try and find her and maybe lead her to a safe place. But what we need to focus on is Joseph and Jean, who fell down in the hole. Very well. So, any ideas? <laughs> but uh yeah so how do we get i mean they're down in the basement i'm not sure it help me look for another entrance i guess all right you do have a couple of yeah. options logically speaking uh there should be obviously a staircase leading down yeah i'm thinking there's... um and you two give me uh perception plus alertness rolls all right five perception alertness uh six guy wanted to show up now it'd be nice you notice that there is also a sprinkler system that is set up here but it's not uh, it doesn't seem to be that on. Not go off automatically it doesn't seem to be going off yeah. for some reason um it may you can see obviously there don't seem to be sensors on it but there are it is basically just a sprinkler system there should be a manual control so somewhere if we could find where it is we could maybe switch it on and help to damp down yes the okay it's only a possibility why don't All we right. do that Why I call some animals and have them go search out Abigail so we can figure out where she is. Very well. I shall meet up with you in a moment, momentarily. So, All right. So uh, you are going to be uh, calling to animals? Yes. All right. Um, you're going to have to Hopefully go... I'm not calling that down. You're going to have to kind of go outside the compound. To, uh, there's no... Con How there's far no away is that? Um, well, you would have to cross the yard to get there. It would be... Um, I mean, it would probably take about five or ten minutes to get up there, and then maybe about the same to come Should back. I help him look for the sprinkler thing. First? I'm just saying, if you want to split the party, that's definitely an option. I'm just letting you know you're going to be out of the action for a while if you do go to call the animals. Okay, well, I thought I could do it here. Maybe that's not a good idea then. So, uh, okay, let's look for the sprinkler system thing first. All right. All right. Um, you can try and follow the pipes. Obviously, that would lead you to it. Okay. Then let's do that. Being careful. Let's do that. Being aware. Being alert. All right. For any other things. Smelling if there's any more gas. The pipes obviously seem to go two ways. There is one way that leads further around on the first floor, and then there is another way that leads back into the main room. And you do remember seeing that the pipes do go up the stairs as well. Well, let's get up there then. Can I find a way up there? Now the other one has sort of broken. Um, the stairs are still in place, so you could still make your way up there. Oh, well, I'll, I'll do that then. All I right. thought they broke before, but I just the They were broken, me off. but you would have to, um, I mean, you are still going to have to make the roll to go back up there. Um, but they are still in place that you could make it. 
All right. Yeah, I'll uh, try to get back up there then. Are you gonna go with? What's the rule to get up the stairs? Am I? Um, it's gonna be uh, dexterity plus athletics, although it's not too hard. Um, uh, I don't know that I want to go to the upper floor of a burning building. <laughs> is well. that gonna be where the sprinkler control is anyway? It's true. So where do the pipes go otherwise? Uh, they also go further into the first floor. Because I feel like if there's a manual control, it's probably not on the second floor. Do they go into the flames on the first floor? Um, you would not have to go through the flames, no. I'm going to be wrong when I say this, but I really feel like a manual control for a sprinkler system would be on the f main floor. Could be. Because the pipes, why would you have? I'm following the pipes, so you can search Unless, if you Unless, of course, to. their water system comes from, uh, like, rainwater. Rain, uh, rainwater on the roof, which would, uh, for a compound like this, you didn't check, obviously, that would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense. Okay. That's what I'm just... I'm yeah. figuring that there was... I'm thinking we're in a city and there's piped underneath. No, but, there is not. Okay. All right. So, there. Let's go up to the second one. That makes sense. I just needed a reason. All right. So, give me dexterity plus athletics rolls. It's three. Eight. All right, so uh, you guys both make it up without too much difficulty. And uh, you guys are going to follow the pipes up here? Yeah. All right, so you start uh, going through, um, and it leads you through the second floor, and then it eventually goes off to a corridor and then goes straight up into the ceiling. No so if we could somehow break the ceiling, perhaps... Uh, yeah, you could do that. Uh, give me up another perception plus alertness. I only heard give me perception. Plus alertness. Uh, six. Uh, you can see that there is a pull-down, uh, staircase in the ceiling, like, hidden into it. Okay. That would lead up to the next floor. Alright, so we'll go there. Alright. Pull down the staircase, and makes a big creaking noise as it comes down. Dust flurries. Yep. You guys head up, and you're in what looks to be some sort of an attic. Um, and all the windows are, like, busted up here, and you can feel the air coming in through, uh, through the windows. There's a draft. Um, and then looking around, you find the pipes, and it runs up, and you can see uh, a big valve coming down on a large pipe which comes out of the ceiling. There's a valve, we can turn that on. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's do that. So as you guys are approaching the valve, you hear uh, what sounds like a scream coming from one of the windows. Okay. So it's up to you. Look out the, I, will go, I will assume this I will look out the window. All right. This is kind of like a small attic window. It's not like a big window, but you do pop your head out through it. Like I said, the glass is broken. Uh, and downstairs, you can see a group of individuals, uh, and one of them seems to be struggling with, uh, another, while the third is just kind of leading the way. Um, the one who's doing- Just the clear, it's not Abigail, is it? Uh, or, well, let me say, finish describing things. All right, all right. Uh, the one who's struggling is the one who screamed. It does sound like a female voice. Um, and, uh, she, uh, starts screaming out, uh, help, Hassan. Um, and then you hear the man struggling with her, uh, shout out, shut up, bitch. And then he strikes her, uh, and knocks her to the ground, then picks her up and starts struggling with her again, while the man goes up to one of the vehicles, opens the door, and they throw her inside. Well, I'm going to help. Uh, the man looks up exactly uh, towards you. You can't make out any of his features, but you can see that he is dressed in, like, a big overcoat and a hat, which looks very oh, out of place like... in the jungle. Oh, this isn't the serpent guy? The uh, no. It, okay. No, he's almost <laughs> naked. He's okay. shirtless. Okay. Um, and he takes, uh, he looks directly towards you and then takes off his hat, tips it to you, 
and then goes around to the passenger seat and gets inside. The other guy goes up to the driver's seat, flips you off, screams out au revoir, and then we've seen these people before. slams the door and they drive off. I feel like we've seen these people before. But, like they knew us. Who are they? Like when did we run into them? I don't remember. It's Steven and the crew. Characters. <laughs> it's oh. fucking Steven. Oh, it's <laughs> and the... Okay. I'm fucking it's Ryan. The people. Okay, that's who it is. I'm like... Well, I'm heading out there immediately as soon as I realize it's out again. You can't... Uh, I can't confirm it one way or another because it's night and you're looking down from a building way okay. at them, so... Okay. I will neither so confirm nor deny okay. your theory. I'm lying. okay. So, it seems to us that it's the camera people. Okay. That would be one possible explanation. Well, like I said, I'm heading down there immediately. Right, I'm so going after them. Celerity. Strength, Does that mean that car that creature in the fucking basement was just worth Chicago character? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Derek. Yeah. <laughs> Derek shrieking around God. the place. <laughs> so Derek's an infernalist in the Camarilla Chronicle, huh? Definitely. Wow. Makes I perfect have sense. No idea. Everything is coming together. It is. It is totally coming. Finally, out. things yeah. make sense around here. I had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> All right. Um, but they get into one of the vehicles and they drive off. Even running down with your celerity, uh, you're only to like the second floor when they hit the gate and they just plow through it. Okay. Um, Lysia does note that Hassan completely fucks over his pack mates. <laughs> Um, to do this. I am still up in the attic. I try the valve. I probably can't do it with two strengths, so I'm gonna have The to... valve works. It, oh, it's okay. not like rusty or anything. Okay, so it I turns. will get the sprinkler system going. Yes, the sprink- as you're about halfway and out to the front door, Hassan, Hassan about the sprinkler the system comes on. Okay. You seem to forget that Abigail is part of the pack now. We had, she we had not, she is not a true not, Sabat. She, she is not true Sabat. She is not true Sabat. She is not true Sabat. Our pack was in imminent danger. She's she not was true, not. not. I, She's pretty clearly in imminent it? danger. No, they have not killed her yet, whereas our friends have fallen into an inferno. <laughs> oh my god. There's no, gonna be seriously there getting gonna be some to. tests of pain. I'm there are you are seriously to getting a talking to from the priest. There are gonna be some tests Damn, of pain and John is gonna help. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to get your priorities straightened out, sir. Yeah. All right, but there's just a look as I go down the stairs. You there, turn there's on. just a look at him, like. <laughs> and then the sprinklers are on now. The fire is is dimming. Can we yes. see down in the hole? All right. You know well, you guys are heading back to the hole then. I am. Hassan, I don't know what are you what doing? Our ductus is. Are you going to chase them through the jungle? <laughs> well, I probably can't, considering they're in a car. I'm not. Yeah. Well. So I'll return. All right. You have strong personal feelings <laughs> for the young woman. I I give you a look. You get a definite look. You get a definite look. Uh huh. Anyway, so um, you guys return to the hole. So we're gonna move back to the others then. Um. So like I said, the claw comes through the metal door. Uh. And you guys look around. You are in uh, what looks to be some sort of generator room. Hmm. Uh, there is no way out other than the one large door you see. Um, there is a large, like, industrial-sized generator down here, um, which is not running, and there are also several, uh, gas cans as well. Presumably with fuel for the generator. By large door you see, do you mean the one being attacked the one right with now? the claws coming yeah, through it. Yeah, the claws. Alright. No windows, no... I mean, it's a basement. It's a generator. It's a generator. Okay, it's a metal door. <laughs> Let's science this bitch. Science it up there, Jean. All right, it's MacGyver time, isn't it? It is. It is. Get on a MacGyver hat. You don't carry All a right. Swiss Army knife with you. So we've got. But you got a machine. So we've got a generator and an electric door. Or a, a metal door. Yep. You're, you're already seeing where I'm going with this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
It's kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. What are you so let's do? think of something else. Well, I was thinking of like electrifying the door. Exactly. That yeah. is exactly where you need to go. As you're uh, thinking, right, by the way, like, a second like... the claw retracts out and the second one comes through. Is there a jump leads or anything I can use? Um, you could try, there is no, like, official ones, although you could try and rip say, up the wiring. Not, I was gonna say, uh, Stallworth has a machete, so, um, you know. Alright, Joseph, we're hack gonna electrify off, the door. Half off, hack off those, those wires and just, uh, is the, is the generator running right now? It is not running. It is not running right now. Just hack off the wires. All right. Lead them so, over. Joseph, you Lead hack up the down. wires. I'll, st I'll work on setting it up, maybe refueling it or whatever, turning it on. Let's go. Alright, let's do it. So, you're gonna try and refuel it? Yeah. Alright, so you start pouring gas in. Uh, Joseph, you cut the wires. Um, and as this is happening, a third claw comes through. Um, and then a horribly, uh, like, mutated face presses itself up against the holes, like it tears open a little space, and screams in there, Saint Castine sends his regards! Oh god. Oh god. Fuck's sake. Wow, so he's still alive. Oh, mm. Joseph, walk right up there with the leads, and be like... Fucking Derek, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> 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 Always... Going Saint on Castine. about his alliance with Saint Castine. Oh my Derek God. Dumbledore. Oh, Steven, how can Steven allow infernalism in his group? Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> Alright. After you fill up the generator a little bit, I mean, obviously you don't need to fill it up to full, you yeah. hit the button, and, uh, Stallworth, these uh, wires you're holding immediately begin, like, sparking and shooting out electricity. Um, I'm gonna need a strength roll for you to try and control this. Uh, that'll be five strength and three potents. Alright. So you press it up against the metal door and obviously you know, yeah. it's Please. super electrified and there's like sparks flying everywhere. Um, the generator uh, like starts to bust up. Uh, there's like, basically the room just starts filling with smoke. Uh, you hear horrible sounds coming from the generator. You hear horrible sounds coming from the monster outside. Um. And, uh. Sit there until you're done. And then you hear another shout, uh, where it says, uh, St. Castine cannot be put off so easily. Oh, crap. You will <laughs> learn to fear his name. And then you hear movement down the corridor. But it seems to be going away from you. Like the thing is retreating. Well, it seems like St. Castine is put off that easily then. Take the leads take the leads off the door. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so you guys are congratulating each other, then the minute John passes you, you grab a hold of his shoulder and then say, Except that I was St. <laughs> Castine Machete. <laughs> anyway. So, you guys open up the door? Yeah, let's get out of here. As you guys go back the way yep. you came, uh... He comes back because now we're outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He Obviously. No, in, cl in classic video game logic, you defeated him, and so rather than keep you trapped in the small room, he went off. He went off. And despawned. And, <laughs> and, and yes, and so you, he defeated him to fight him again in a You world. did not, you did not find him uh, anywhere there in the maze. Can they find their way out of the maze? Um, and, uh... After a little while, you do see that the other path that you could have taken uh, does lead up to a doorway and a staircase. All right, let's go there. Yep. Right. Yep. So you guys emerge out from a side passage into uh, the main foyer again, uh, where you just see Hassan and Lysia coming downstairs. And the sprinklers are on. Hey. And the sprinklers are on. Friends. Okay, and glad to see you safe. Okay, yay. We found the monster. And then you guys hear a cry from further in the building. Uh, a man uh, 
shouting out, you will not escape me so easily. And then the a monster. huge pound. Like a pounding sound. Um, like coming up through the... No, it seems like it's further in the house. Further inside the house. Let's get out of the house. Did it sound, did it sound like their monster guy? It did not sound like the monster. It sounds like a normal human. That was, yeah, the monster sounded distorted. This seems more like a normal human. Well, then maybe That's we should go investigate this. So you guys met the monster. What what is it? Is it demonic? Is it a demon? Is it a were creature? Yes, yes, it's definitely demonic. Seems <laughs> demonic. Had a black aura. All right. And you you, you you did it see you? I mean, it must not have seen you because you guys are still alive. It totally saw us, and we it definitely there. saw us. <laughs> <laughs> We escaped into a room with a metal door and we electrified it. It was pretty cool. It was. So let's 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 look okay. for the voice, yeah. Yeah, let's right. go examine this voice. So you guys uh, pass through, and as you're coming up to this place, you can see that it seems like it's uh, like a vault, like there are big doors. Um, like big metal doors in the way and they have been pushed aside enough that someone got through it um, you guys would have to kind of work it open a little bit more for you guys to get through because um, it's kind of like collapsed back in on itself since then Okay. can we call out to this thing? you can try if you want to I don't know this guy's an infernalist in an infernalist you do hear outcome. more shouting from beyond you inside of the vault uh, it where it seems like a woman's voice uh, which is weeping and shouting uh, the cross it's where the lines cross the cross sure whatever and so like okay here's my problem we're in an infernalist compound like, the only mm -hmm. people that yeah. should be here should be Infernalists. But yet, yeah, I feel like the creature killed them, too. Like, there are multiple factions like here all running around? Like, there are multiple factions here running well, around. Well, you just saw the fucking camera. Oh, really? yeah, I was gonna say, we will bring you up to speed on that uh, Stephen and, and Ryan, possibly. Yeah, so, and also, we will mention that the monster was aligned with fucking St. Castine. St. Castine. So we have maybe some yeah. multiple things, so maybe we shouldn't go in guns blazing here, because we don't know who this is. It's up to you. Yeah. Should I go in the uh, spot? Like you know? Well, we yeah. gotta get the door open in order to do that. Yeah. Well, I can also, I can aura perception. Okay, so aura perception, if that's a good idea. Alright. So me, while you open the door, maybe? Give me a perception plus empathy. Um, between your guys' potence, if Hassan and Joseph are there, I'm not gonna bother you to roll. Your automatic successes are enough. All right. All right, seven, seven of the specialty. All right. Um, so you do see a pair of auras, um, and they are both vampiric auras, although you can't tell too much out uh, else. One of them seems very angry, and the other one distraught, but obviously from the sounds of the voices, are they you all can tell dark that. and? No, you. Well, they're not using infernalist powers right now. Okay. Um, as you guys are working the door open, you hear the man who cried out before. Uh, yell out, where is Sangris? Um, and then the woman just continues to weep and says, uh, it's where the lines cross. That's the seat of it, where the lines cross. Sangris is dead. And then uh, as... Uh, so you guys work the vault open, and are you guys heading inside? I believe, yeah, I think I should probably head inside first, obfuscated. All right. So you, uh, is anyone else, so everyone else is staying outside mm -hmm. while you go in alone? But ready to Are you? help. Oh. I was going to say, because they're going to know. I mean, our best bet is for him to go in obfuscated and try and figure things out. And then out. you guys are waiting with but guns outside. Yeah, we're All waiting. Right. So, uh, Hassan, you come in to just find the person dis who was looking like Sangris, uh, throw down a woman who definitely bears a strong resemblance to, uh, the description you were given of Sedilia the Tongue. Um, and he says, neither of you will escape from me as you enter, and he stamps down on her forehead, and her head just collapses like a watermelon, basically. 
gore goes out in all directions. Huh. So, is... Now, is Sangris our Bruja guy? The guy who looks like Sangris oh. is the Bruja who was with you, yes. Okay, and that was him yelling, where it is Sangris? It was yes. Okay, and, she, and he kills... Okay, so this is our Bruja guy. I immediately get back outside. Alright. So, he's killed the... The... Yeah, did they uh, did they hear that? Or was it just me? Um, you were pretty much. I mean, you heard it. You and John heard it the best. Everyone else just kind of heard kind of faint sounds, but you mm -hmm. did hear. Yeah. All right. So there's our Bruja guide. Um, okay. Okay. Sangris. Now remind me who Sangris is again. The former Archbishop of Montreal, who and was found consorting with demons. Okay. Uh, Makes sense, doesn't it? Is, and he was made to look like Sangus. Yes. For some reason. For some reason, he he has amnesia. He apparently doesn't. According know to him, he just wants to find Sangus to figure it all out. Why he's looking like Sangus? Maybe. Maybe, or maybe he's in league with him. We don't know. All right, but he just killed the high priestess, and she was yelling about uh, the crossroads. And that's where the seat the is. The cross. Where the ley lines cross. Where the ley lines cross. The cross. The cross. Where the ley lines cross, that's where the seat is. So, not long after Hassan, uh, the guy who looks like Sangris himself passes through the doorways. Uh, and he turns to you guys and says, uh, I have no more need of you. I will make my own arrangements from here. And he starts and to he leave. just goes off. Alright, so our mission here was to defeat the Infernalists. Yes. Which is kind mission of what happened. Mission, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, yeah. And Except to that, recover the painting. And to recover the painting. So let's start hey, where's the painting? for the painting. Alright. Hopefully we don't run into that monster thing again. I don't know what the hell that was. So, uh, give me a perception plus investigation. Seven with a specialty in it. <laughs> All right. So looking around the vault, you do eventually find like the shipping container that took the painting here. Um, although it is currently empty, you don't find any trace of it in the vault. It looks like it was ripped open with some force. You could search the entire house if you wanted to, but it does seem like whatever was tearing this place up took it. So, mm. and its lair seemed to be down in the basement? Well, uh, not necessarily a lair, but that's where or it was. It just, that's where it was. Where do you think? So, if I am a monster that comes in to break into. Obviously, it was after the painting as well, right? Because why would a monster rip open a shipping container in order to take a painting? Unless it was aware. Or it could be. I mean. It Looking at it, you don't necessarily see claw marks, so it was ripped open with some force, but it could be another thing with some force as so well. So possibly the Camarilla. One of it. the other guys that just left here, too. Yeah. It they looks like one like of the other many factions that were here got a hold of it. Got a hold of it first. All right. So then that would be my guess, because they're the most intelligent of the bunch. They would uh, have some meaning for the painting. So this may be the time that we go after the Camarilla. I look pointedly at <laughs> Hassan. I nod. Who I'm yeah. still upset with. Mm -hmm. So, because we are uh, probably, we're definitely going to be going longer than three hours. Uh, <laughs> I was say, this was like the based last on how much I have thing. left. Uh, um, this was supposed to be the short one because we just had the fight left. Yeah, I thought I thought that you would not take as long in here as ended up happening. Okay, you didn't figure on us. Classic mistake. Uh, Classic you mistake. Us. This always happens. You spent a long time investigating outbuildings. <laughs> we had to have the whole IRA Why Taliban should we? discussion. Well, because we go over three hours. Um, All right. So. Um, and we are going to have to push through because we're we're definitely not going to have enough for another session after this. Right. So okay, quickly, okay. quickly. We're In light of uh, how long it's going to take, I'm going to say you don't find any traces of how to find the Camarilla people if that's who they were after okay. they left. Okay. So you don't necessarily have a lot of options of things to do in Haiti. So we're we'll probably go back to Montreal, regroup, um, 
figure out what we can about this coterie, this Camarilla coterie. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, if that's who it is. Of course. Um, is. I will also be accepting full responsibility for um, the um, Bruja leaving us. <laughs> that's on me for letting him come. All right. We're l listening up the tests of pain here. All right. So after a, a little while, uh, you guys return to Montreal. Um, I'm not going to worry about the blood. You fill up when you're in Montreal okay, to I whatever level you're at. Dirt from Haiti home. With yes. Me. Okay. And I'm going to have it different places. Yes. Yeah. Um, the librarians have been dealing with the paintings they have so far. They have been uh, using geomancy to try and correct the ley lines as the paintings suggest they ought to be corrected. Okay, I'm going to tell them what I heard her say. Seed at the cross where the ley lines cross. All right. That's what she just kept repeating. Well, they will say that does seem to definitely have something to do. We do need to find... Uh, where the ley lines cross, um, as that is obviously the heart of the demon's power, and we won't even know if what we are doing is helping matters unless we go there and make sure it's getting weaker. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a number of the paintings already. There are more that we obviously need to get, but since you have lost them, we could try and wow. deduce exactly where any remaining ley lines are if we could somehow discover where the heart of the creature is. Well, it's probably on the mount where it feels like it's so freaky weird. Obviously it has something to do with Mount Royal, but that's not necessary. Mount Royal's pretty big. Okay. Needs to be more exact than that. Is there anything that you have learned... What else did we learn, guys? Sedilia the Tongue should have known something, but unfortunately she is deceased. Well, she said, well, uh, this, the, it was in the response to where is Sangris that we had the cross. Uh, she didn't say it. She said that Sangris was dead. Oh, she was she talking about, Sangris she seems to be dead. ranting about something else. Oh, okay. And that's all we heard from her? Yeah, she just kept ranting the cross, where the ley lines cross, yeah, the well, cross. Yeah, well, she's dead because the guy who looks like Sangris killed her. He has no yeah. reestablished contact, so there's not much you can learn from him. Okay. Um, okay. Should we mention, have we mentioned the Camarilla, or should we? I was going to say, did we not mention the Camarilla? I assumed we said everything. Uh, that you told the librarians about the people who left? Yeah. And that you believe it may be the Camarilla Coterie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they probably have the painting. Well. I suspect. In that case, it's difficult to determine. I mean, obviously, we could try and find their havens and raid it and get it, but that seems like a tall order. Obviously, uh... The, did somebody have a connection with them? The Ductus tells you. Um, they did uh, have communications, but they don't know where their haven is. Well, I don't know that we... I mean, can't we just establish... What do they want from us? Um, as far as those communications... That, uh, just received a flat denial from them. They say they were not involved and they have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. Obviously, if they were working against you and told the painting, they're not going to then inform on you about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, the Camarilla were the ones who told you where to go to get the painting in the first place. So it seems odd that they would go there and then steal and the they, painting. But they did. Unless that wasn't them. Yeah. Very true. Okay. Well, now I'm just confused then. Hmm. <laughs> Although that is the perfect excuse for us to think it's not them. <laughs> That's yeah, true. It's say. a perfect oh, alibi. It is sort of a... It is sort of a... I mean, <laughs> That's not plausible. Weird. Again, in the interest of time... <laughs> but it is possible. I'll tell you that some cryptic message you got at some point recently might give you the hint as to where you need to go. The cross. Was there another cryptic message? I don't have That's the main cryptic, cryptic message. message that you should be thinking about. Maybe there was a cryptic private message. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, David knows exactly where it is, but in character, he can't tell you because that would break the oath he made to the demon. Oh, God. 
<laughs> so, so the cryptic message is the seed at the cross, where the ley lines cross. Uh, where the ley lines cross is what you're looking for. Where the ley lines cross. But is there a cross in Montreal? Um, well, presumably there is one somewhere. <laughs> Um, okay, so the big, the neon cross, the big neon <laughs> cross is what you're saying? Oh, the big neon cross on top of Mount Royal? Yeah. Yeah, that could, yeah, one of the city's landmarks. That's probably so one that definitely comes that up. So maybe we should go to the cross on yeah. Mount Royal? Yes. Well, let's take a look there, shall we? Well, God above. Mm. In uh, character, literally. by the way, uh, or out of character, rather, I have just handed Mary the she book. Handed me Mon he handed me Montreal by night, literally on the cover in It's in, one of the biggest color. landmarks in the city. There is a neon cross. I was expecting you guys to know about it. It's sort of like the space no, needle of Montreal. Well, why, uh, as I'm, I'm like, is there some landmark that looks like a cross? Sec, no, sec, hold on for a second. Yeah, Think for a second. Did you expect that. me to know about that? Was, well, yeah, not you. You're oblivious. But I expected Mary or yeah, Stallworth no. or... Well, and I did eventually figure out that there's some landmark. I just didn't know what it was. I did not know there was a giant neon cross in yes. Montreal. In no, Zach's defense, we did see meet it like in character as well. That is also where the fir where you first encounter the Infernalist as well. So we don't well, have an excuse. Well, and that's why I said Mount Royal, but I didn't remember a ne big neon cross. That did not yeah. make it into my memory. I'm sorry, but I did. Well, whatever. We know it now. We know it now. Yes, we know yeah. it now. Let's go. Okay. Big neon cross. We're going there. You're back in Montreal, so I'll switch the pictures for you. There Put the big neon cross up there. That's where we're going. No. All right. So you guys uh, head out. Um, once you they figure out if that is the heart, they suggest that you go there. Um, your pack goes there with Elias and uh, the Muse um, to try and find where the heart is uh, to get under there again. Um, meanwhile, they will go and take care of, based on where it is, they work out the locations of the other ley lines if they all cross. Mm -hmm. um, and they will try and correct them as best they can. You go there and basically watch to see if what they're doing is helping. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> all right. So, you guys head out and you reach... Uh, Mount Royal, you head up to the cross and you find the same maintenance hatch that you did the very first time that the midget fled down. And, uh, so you're kind of... So really, when I said Mount Royal the first time, this didn't trigger anybody there that was going, oh no. yeah, where you first met the Infernalist? Yeah, no. it's a big mountain, we don't know. Uh, no. Well, they weren't Absolutely not. there and it's up nope. to players to make that sort of connection. I mean, I could just tell you the story myself, but, you know, it's not really... <laughs> you guys die down here. <laughs> well, I know that. Dude, know spoilers! That. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's go down there. <laughs> guys, Joseph betrays you. Yeah. And then David. And uh -oh. All right. So you guys head down there, and Elias is kind of like, hmm. Seems like we're sort of coming full circle here. Yeah, weird how that happens. We got a weird game master. Let's go. <laughs> so, he says, as you guys are kind of walking along. Being alert. Being alert. Uh, he kind of says, now just to be clear, none of you are secretly infernalists that are going to use the opportunity to betray all of us, right? Well, other than you, Elias, and Jean, and Joseph, and probably his no. son as well. Um, Definitely not. God, all right. I really am not feeling comfortable. At this here. point, uh, Jean, you're no, not no, actually... No, I'm not secret at all. Everyone is kind of saying no, obviously, laughing at Elias's joke. Um, you're not able to respond, though, on account of the vision you're receiving from the demon. <laughs> and, um... Right, yeah. As you're kind of walking along, you go into sort of a dreamlike day... Uh, sort of daydreaming state. And from out of the darkness, you can see you're now alone. And from out of the darkness steps the figure of the demon. He says, this is, this is your final opportunity. My wife's already gone. You have already taken advantage of the uh, free sample I offered. You notice? Ooh. 
Does it not concern you that the power I have given you may be taken away? No. Very well, then. I deny you what was given. And you lose your dot of Daemoinen. And well, you that take sucks. one dot of aggravated damage for each Ow. time that you have used it. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me, let me set this scene. did screw me over for you. Let, let me set this scene. Let me set this scene. Let me set this scene. Elias says... And I have kept track. Okay, so Elias says, none of you are actually well infernalists. Everybody's like, no. John crumples to the ground in aggravated damage. <laughs> First off, what is your fortitude? Not cool, Zach. Not cool. <laughs> Zero. All right. I would you be wanna... fucking shocked if you could even soak now, this. I have... Zach's the one who tricked me into using it the first time anyway. I have mm -hmm. kept track of every time you have used it. Do you want to guess how many points of aggravated damage you're taking? I think like four or five. Uh, it, it obviously went up by one when he used it on Joseph in the basement of the house earlier. <laughs> Man, what, what are you doing? Wow. wow. The sack sends me PMs that are concerning me all the time. <laughs> uh, you trust me, man? Dude. But, dude. Uh, you take four points of aggravated damage. Wow. All right, good. That was my lower estimate. So, wow. you see Jean crumple in a heap of, like, leprous boils and just, like, pus. <laughs> None of you are infernalists, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I don't have Daemoine in anymore. <laughs> I'm the only one that knew he had Daemoine. <laughs> I swear I yeah. am current tense, not an infernalist. <laughs> so I will go over to him and with my medical uh, perception check him He's out. He's got aggravated damage. He's yeah, like, there's like, like weird okay, Jean, festering what, boils. Jean, what the hell is going on? I will take him aside, knowing that he does have contact with the demon. <laughs> Time for confession. I will take you aside for a um, moment. So just, you guys move just up. As you're actually about to do that, though, you hear, like, the sound of movement from further in the tunnel ahead of you, coming towards you. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it sounds a lot like the mass of weird creatures that have attacked you underground several times before. Okay, that's not good. This happens like a few no. seconds after Jean, you know, yeah, Jean starts to, okay, screaming so possibly and we're erupting being in boils. At this, at this point. It's possible. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so defensive positions. Are the ley lines, are they, are, should they make, if, uh, the, uh, will the ley lines help us in any way? Will they make it weaker? Uh, this is not good. Elias it turns to you guys, and he looks around, and then he does notice that there is, uh, well, first off, he says maybe we should go back the other yeah. way. But as you take a few steps that way, you hear sounds coming from yeah, that direction say, as we're well. Surrounded. Why are we down in the? Why are we not upstairs out of the hatch? Looking, he looks yeah. around and then spots another uh, passage off to the side, and then tells you the muse can distract the creatures. I'll take her with me and lead them away from you. You need to get further down and find the heart. Okay. If that's his plan. All right, and then he takes Are the muse by the Jean arm. Here, can you walk, John? Can I, Zach? Uh, you have to. What four? <laughs> the ductus has spoken. <laughs> at four points to. Three, uh, you're four. at you negative, negative two? two. Yeah, you can walk. Okay, you're wounded. I got this. Okay. The you have to was in character, by the way. Yeah, I know it was. And out of character. All right. Well, <laughs> let's let's go then. All right. I will buff my stats again. Okay, and aspects around so that we're not walking into something. All right. So you guys enter, go through this passage, and there's like a ladder leading downwards, and there it changes from like a modern, modern, uh, like access area, like maintenance. 
into uh, more like an old-fashioned mine. Like, there are wooden beams up trying to support the roof. Um, it looks like some sort of, like, underground mine, essentially. Mm-hmm. Okay. And as you're heading down, uh, give me a perception plus a cult. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Seven. It's getting... Yeah, that awful, well, obviously the awful feeling on Mount Royal is there. I don't need to mention that. But it doesn't look like the problem is getting any better. As you're looking around, it seems like the way the ley lines have been altered, it's creating, uh, it's acting almost like a dam, like keeping things here, but it's also building up in the center. Oh, that's not good. Uh, maybe creating some sort of feedback loop, but whatever the case is, uh, it's, it's getting go. pretty infernal in here. All right. So do we just run away and let it explode? As you consider uh, running away, you turn back towards the ladder you climbed up, and a fleshy mass emerges out of the walls and covers the ladder. All right. So, so there is only go slick forward, surfaces. We're just going to kill the heart. Okay. So we're going. We're going forward. I'm still just. I'll help Sean along and be like, "What the fuck happened? Are you doing this? I'm going to ask him. Are you doing this?" John, are you no, he this? he asked me one more time to join him, and I said no. And is this your well, I'm proud of you, John. You don't know anything about it, Joseph. <laughs> this is literally the this is literally the first you're hearing of this. Yeah, so I was going to ask, are we hearing of this? Or are you whispering? I am whispering to John on his own. So I will right whisper now. back. In, in that case, I'll whisper back. I'm like, and this okay. is your and this is your punishment. Do yeah. I notice it? Uh, well, you don't really have aspects. I imagine you're being alert for monsters yeah. around you, not your own party. I imagine. Mm. So probably not. And since Is I'm he the wrong? One, and since I'm the one with medicine and intelligence, I'm acting like I'm helping John yeah. as much as possible. What about conniving John? <laughs> and Joseph. Anyway, so... Joseph, I mean. <laughs> we already know about conniving John. <laughs> what about conniving Joseph? <laughs> no, I guess not. All right, I'm not that conniving. <laughs> You're not so that you conniving. guys go through this hallway, and then you find a huge set of doors with infernal markings all over them. It looks like a boss door, so maybe any uh, buffing you want to do now would be a good time to do it. Did we pick up a boss key? <laughs> uh, there's no... <laughs> There's a tre- treasure chest right next to it you can open up. Grants. But first you have to solve this riddle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing the right song, yeah? No, it's just a regular block-pushing puzzle. It's very, very easy. Looks like, okay. So, um, just, just to be clear, if we leave the room and come back, do they reset? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we eventually nice. figure yeah, it if, out. If we, if we mess it up, we just go on and come back in. <laughs> But so, seriously, buff okay. up everyone. But seriously, yeah. everyone, <laughs> any stats you want to buff, they you need to buff them now. Okay. 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 Well, actually, um, wait, wait. Question. We came all the way back to Montreal and stuff. So, uh, can we have our weapons back? Our normal uh, yeah, weapons? all of the weapons that you had, uh, your Haiti weapons had to stay in Haiti. You have all of your regular weapons back. Well, the shotguns back. Yeah. So yeah, whatever you guys have got. Good. You have your standard equipment loadout, your Damascus steel sword, your Glock. Mm-hmm. Of course, of Fantastic. course. With two magazines. With two mm-hmm. magazines. Fantastic. All right. So, you guys are standing out. You've done all your buffing. You guys are ready? We're ready. It's ready right. as I'll ever be. Yeah. yeah. I'm also upgrading my sword. Um, I'm using the blow of my sword, just to be clear. All right. That's being done, too. Yep. You got your celerity readies. Everyone's got everything they're happy with. Yeah. Yep. All right. Everyone's down to like one blood point now because all their physical <laughs> stats are up. <laughs> of course, of course. All right. So you guys emerge out into what looks like uh, basically a satanic cathedral. Um, it's a huge room. Goes all the way down. There's like uh, it's like vaulted like a cathedral ceiling. At the end of it, there is an altar where a cloaked figure is standing in front of it. The figure uh, stands up and says, You have often looked for St. Castine, and yet 
the vaunted Seven Samurai, or perhaps I should call them the Seven Fools, <laughs> have never That's known fucking lame. who St. Castine truly was. Is it Abigail? And Is then really the cloaked figure turns and you see Lewis. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Lewis? Lewis? He has, in addition to the cloak, he is wearing full riot gear, like police riot gear. He has a police riot shield, and then in his other hand, he has a medieval bastard sword, which is, he is holding with one hand. Wow. Lewis? Wow. I will look at Joseph and be like, who knew? <laughs> For the first time in his life, oh Hassan chuckles. God. It's Noah! <laughs> wow! Go figure! That's hilarious, Moz. I have been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> wow. This is why Lewis likes so Star Wars is over there getting jerked off by Lewis, and I'm just like, heh 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 heh. Wow! <laughs> wow. wow. Lewis, the whole time. Wow. I'll admit, I did not see this one coming. No, I didn't. Yeah, need yeah. I didn't. This is this is interesting. So we just all stand there perplexed, right? Because we're like, what? Lewis, what the fuck are you doing? I, Joseph's just like, get over here, Lewis, you fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing around. No, I want this. I want this to be that he is not Saint Justine, but he's just been mind washed, and we still that one. I want that to be the twist. So, I, I uh, seriously, Lacey is, like, just confused. Like, was he supposed to be intimidating? Because <laughs> it's like, it's Lewis. He is a shrimpy little Lewis, although he is in, like, full armor. The armor looks too big for him, and so is the... <laughs> like, the sword is huge. The sword is as big as he is, and he's holding yeah. it with one hand. So, mm, yeah. all right, but, but still. Like, Lewis, <laughs> really? He wafts it through uh -huh. the air, and there's, like... Face me if you dare. Well, or perhaps your pack should Joseph. be known as the Seven Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I pat Joseph on the back. Well, here you go. Um, I guess you should get your ghoul in line, Joseph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be looking around. Is there somebody else? <laughs> like, seriously. Not likewise. <laughs> like, we're like, where's like, the in, in like, all... <laughs> We're in the cathedral now. I'll be looking around behind. Like, I really, I just, just you really, oh, really sec, just so we're clear, when you asked about uh, celerity, I did prepare celerity. Okay. In all um, seriousness, I look at Lewis, I'm like, Lewis, stop playing. <laughs> uh, I'll prepare celerity as well. He's like, Lewis says, fuck you, you little bitch. What the fuck are you gonna do, pussy? Get wow, the fuck over okay. here, Joseph, and I will beat your ass, boy. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> Joseph, you were. Uh, I believe you heard him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you right. my bitch now. <laughs> I'll tell uh, you what. I'll let you go. Betray your friends right now, and I'll let you come over here and uh, be my bitch. Uh. <laughs> and, uh in character as well. Yeah, I feel like we are. I feel like we're in, in character. I am you want to fuck? You wanted to fuck before. How you like it when I fuck you in the ass? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hi. Well. You, you know, but where is Saint Castine? I know. I'm like, really? Is is he behind the altar? <laughs> <laughs> Because, are there other rooms? Are there little rooms in the back where people might hide? I must a say, if you are a distraction, yeah, you are doing a remarkably good job. I feel like we walk past him looking for St. Castine. That's how I feel this goes. So, I still think it's Joseph. Does anyone move to attack? Because I'm otherwise, still just doing for he charges to do it. Um, um, well, he, He's going yeah. to charge us. Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I'll, I will attack. All right. So let's uh, roll for initiative. So it is, let me find my pencil. Um, it's right here, or here's one. There it is. There's like several for you to choose from. I don't know why you're looking around. That one doesn't have any lead in it. 
<laughs> That's why I was looking around. And the most we could buff our physical stats up to was six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except for right. like a couple of turns, three turns. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, wits plus dexterity. First, we're going to start with uh, obviously uh, Saint Castine slash Lewis. I was very pleased with the way this worked out. This was really funny. <laughs> I truly didn't see it coming. I've never been duped this hard in my entire life. Alright, and Miles. Uh, Dex plus wits. Uh, eight. This count as a surprise attack. The surprise part is there. Yeah, I mean, not really, but you still rolled a ten on it, so you're probably going first. Okay, just... Well, I'm gonna delay it till after Joseph. Um, and then Joseph... Um, nine. Uh, never mind, you're not going first. He also rolled a ten. <laughs> and John? Uh, so I'm at a minus two to every roll, right? Uh, yes. Although I don't think this isn't an active roll. This is just wits plus dexterity, so I won't count it for this. Seven. Uh, you also rolled a ten, so... You're going right here. Uh, we got 19, 18, and 17. And Lysia. Seven. Alright, we'll see if you guys tie. No, you do not. Okay, so the ledge was over here before. Uh, actually, no. That lead does not fit in that pencil either. Otherwise, I would have refilled it myself. Because I thought it did. No, it does not. At least I don't think it is. Maybe, maybe. I was going to say, give me the lead. Let me see, because I think it does. Maybe it's the other pencil that I tried to do that and didn't work. Maybe. Well, anyway. Alright, All right, it is Joseph's turn first. Okay, um, well, I will attack Lewis slash St. Castine with my... What kind of, what kind of... Do I have a machete? What kind of weapon do I have? Uh, I think you have, like, a machete, uh... Yeah, I think you have a machete in Montreal as well. Okay, cool, okay. With the machete, then. Alright, it's, uh, plus three to your damage. So first off, give me a dexterity plus melee. Alright, that'll be... Nine. Alright. Okay, uh, quick question. Yep. When I buff my stats, is it I get one point? Like, oh, it's like I have to... Is it, like, immediate, or is it, like, after three turns, that's when I get the full three oh, points? Oh, no, no. Uh, you get it for uh, three turns. If you spend one blood point right now, your next stat goes up by one for three turns above six. You Like, six is kind of like your limit, and then you can spend a blood point to very briefly sort of limit break, is the idea. Oh, okay, so and then if you I... you get tired after that. So if I go up to six, then I can keep it for the full fight? Yes. Okay, yeah. alright, cool, cool. And then if you go up to seven, that lasts for three turns, unless you spend another blow point yeah, up a third, can, third you turn. you can go going. all the way up to ten, theoretically, but you're burning blood very fast there. Okay, gotcha. So what is your dexterity plus melee? It's still nine? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, you miss. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, he's a quick little sucker. <laughs> uh, since this is a tab kind of a tough fight, do you want to spend a willpower point to hit? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, wow. I would. This is a tough fight. <laughs> yeah, you're actually... You're here. This could easily <laughs> go another down. way if, uh, you don't take him out. I nice. should probably just, like, use willpower on all... I would suggest you know. using willpower on all rolls, because this is the... I, I will, I will, once it's my turn. Um, alright, so what is your damage? It's, uh, your strength plus three. Okay, um, well, it's, uh, six, uh, for my strength, then I have three potents. Alright. And then whatever the machete. And do you want to spend a willpower point on this? Uh, yes. Alright. Like I said, I would advise spending all of your willpower. <laughs> as fun as you, funny as it would be to TPK you guys right here at the end, 
I would ideally. When this falls, everyone dies. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you wail on him, and you actually uh, just kind of, you do hit him in kind of the shoulder, but you get sort of stuck against him, and you have to wrench it free. You don't do that much damage. Damn. All right. All right, who's next? It is Hassan's turn. All right, then. After calming himself down from laughing, he... I grab onto my sword, take a step forward, and I slash at him from above with full force. All right, dexterity plus melee. That would be if I spend a blood point now, I can get it to seven, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. In that case, it is ten. Willpower point. Of course. All right, you do hit. Uh, what is your damage? That would be nine aggravated plus a willpower point and plus three potents. All right. So nine aggravated plus four. Alright, uh, you hack into him, and this time, with your aggravated damage, it seems a lot more effective. And you do, uh, again, like, cut through, um, you know, cut the armor? well into him. Yeah, cut through the armor and into him. Although, again, you don't actually, like, cleave through him. Although, you do feel like you did a pretty substantial blow. Nice. And it is Jean's turn. All right, so uh, I'll have celerity for this turn, I think. Mm -hmm. I mentioned this earlier. I don't yep. know if you actually heard me. I figured okay. everyone would spend it on celerity. All right, first, thank you. Uh, uh, I want to also spend... Oh, yeah, so prepare for next turn. All right. And now I will... Let's see. Yeah, whatever. Shoot him. Just a single shot? So, yeah, so is there anywhere I could aim, like, a crack in his right gear or something? Um, you could try and aim for the head, uh, since if he's some sort of vampire, then obviously shots the body won't do much. Um, but that's about mm. it. Although he is wearing a riot helmet as well. He seems fully armored. Is he holding a riot shield in front of him, right? Yes, he is. So I suppose I should try to flank him. Um, you're a, uh, yeah, you could kind of get around to the side of him. Um, you couldn't really get into a flanking position. Okay. Well, will it take one of my turns to get to the side of him? Um, well, with celerity, First. if you wanted to spend an entire turn moving, then I guess you could probably get all the way around to flank him and then have your celerity action as your action. Okay, I'll do that, so I'll do that. Then I'll spend my first turn to get around him. Alright, so you have your celerity turn coming. Um, and then it is his turn. Mm -hmm. So he is going to heal a little bit. And then uh, he is going to first off turn his attention uh, onto uh, the one dealing the aggravated damage. 
So let's see. That is going to be... Alright. All right, uh, Hassan, what is your uh, lethal soak? Why me? Because you're the one who dealt aggravated damage to him. Yeah, but I'm not his bitch. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> he wants to save his bitch. He's going to kill you, and then he's going to make Joseph his bitch. And he's going to turn Joseph into a woman and okay. flip him out. Yeah, he See? is. What? That's what he's going to do. What, what soak what was you, you asking for? A lethal soak. Lethal soak. All right. That would be... Five and a will PowerPoint. All right. All right. You take four points of damage. Wow. Huh. Ow. Yikes. Ouch. All right. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That hurts a little bit. I'm not, I'm not laughing anymore. And it is Lysia's turn. I will also be your bitch. If Joseph does not wish to be the bitch, yeah. I will be the bitch. I will be the bitch. I can do that. I'm on your side now. <laughs> really, Lysia turns into the Infernals right. the whole time. Lysia. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, so when do I have to make skin contact in order to yes, use Yes, to vicissitude, yes. Uh, so how armored are his like, ankles? Um, like you his, could try and get down and do like, feed stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably I'm never I'm never gonna get in up above. I'm thinking I gotta get go under repair. You're gonna try and, and cripple him. Yeah, yeah, that could work. And then I my main idea is to dislocate joints because he can't heal this attitude, right? So if I like break him apart, unless he is uh, a lower generation than you. Oh, if he's lower generation, he can heal yeah. this attitude. Well, I'm just gonna assume he's a lower generation. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna deal as much damage as possible and make him heal. Alright. Give me a, a dexterity plus brawl. Um, that is going to be six. Alright, you hit. Okay. And then what is your strength plus body craft? That's eight. Alright. Can I sever a limb? You could try and do that. Yeah, because that would be a massive reheal. All right. So you uh, try and you can't quite sever a limb, but you can kind of like pop a joint out of place. Uh, okay. Basically, like unless he takes turn time to heal it. You didn't necessarily do damage to him, but if he doesn't take time to heal it, he can't move. Right. Like, that, he can't that was walk my, around. I wanted, to, I wanted to inhibit yeah. him somehow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. And then it is Jean's celerity turn. Shoot him in the back of the head. All right. So what is your... And so just a single shot? Uh, yeah. All right. Dexterity plus firearms. Will power points. Okay. Thanks for the firearms. I still need to know the number. Yeah, uh, six minus two is four. All right. Uh, you do hit. Honestly, that's kind of surprising. And uh, sure, what's yeah. the damage on your gun? It is four. All right. Uh, you hit it, but it bounces off of his helmet. <laughs> All right. And it is uh, his... Uh, wait, no, Hassan, you were using Celerity as well, right? I was, yeah. All right, I completely forgot it. It is your turn. It was your turn before Lewis's, or uh, for before John's, but... Oh, well... 
Uh, yeah, I'll strike him again. So with my sword that I sliced upward from before, I'll attack from ankle and hit him in the side now. Okay. Dexterity plus melee. That How much blood did you apply to your sword, by the way? How many points? I have two slashes left with decorated damage. Okay. So that is 10 minus 2. That is 8, plus an automatic for willpower. Okay. All right, you hit. And then uh, what is your damage? Uh, I've got Is this also decreased by 2? Uh, yes. All right. In that case, it is seven plus four automatic. All right. All right. Okay. All right, he is uh, still standing. So, but how, how's he looking? Pretty beat up. He's pretty okay. messed up. And then uh, now it is his celerity turn. So I'm probably dead now. Oh yeah. So he's going to attack you first. And not surprising. I feel like I did my part here, honestly. Yeah. Uh, he does hit you. Not surprising. Well, he didn't do as much damage as he could have. Uh, what is your lethal soak? This is not reduced, correct? Uh, no, this is not. Five plus an automatic. Wow. Wow. You actually uh, soak all of it. You had to get a success on every single one of those dice, and you did. Nice. Nice. All right. Just describe what happens, please. I need to hear this for my ego. <laughs> uh, he basically lunges at you, but you uh, deflect it easily. You just kind of, like, take your sword and then spin it around and knock it into the ground. Nice. A little pirouette there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we come Superior back... Superior Persian swordsmanship. We come back around to Joseph's turn. Alright, so how how beat up is Lewis right now? Um, he's not looking great. He's near, you know, he's pretty mauled. I see. Well, I believe it's time to, to finish him off then. Alright. Do it. Kill your bitch. <laughs> I have to do this, man. You, you forced me to it. He forced you to it. Yeah, well, he, did. he really did. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hit you, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not true. You really want to. <laughs> You'll hit him so. with pleasure. Yeah. One more Easily. time. Explain. So, my max strength right now, after I bumped it up, yeah. was six. You can spend that a means... point this turn to put it up one more. Okay, and it will, then it be. It will last for three and turns. That, okay. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's 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 do this. All right. Dexterity plus melee. Uh, that is. Ten. All right, you do hit, and uh, let's see. All right, and what is your damage? Uh, that is seven plus uh, three potents, and I'll be using the willpower point.
All right. You take one last swing with your machete and you rend his head from his shoulders. It goes flying up in the air and then comes down and the body just crumples down into a small heap. Mm. Well done. Had to be done. A little disappointed though, because he gave a good massage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's true. And then you feel the whole place start to shake. Um, and rumble. Off with his head. Off with his head immediately. How much did I already turn? It is no, off. It's already off. We he should get out of here now. We should and then from completely out evacuated. of the back yes. room, uh, you see Abigail emerge. Uh, what? Oh, okay. What? What is that? I will look over to some. Like, like on some teammate type of stuff, or on some I was plotting against y'all the whole time like, type is of. Is she looking evil? Uh, she's looking frightened. Okay. Run and grab her. I have celerity. All right. How much damage do you turn. try and deal to her <laughs> with your? <laughs> well, I like to celerity rather if I can, so I can run back out again I immediately. Promise I wouldn't let anyone else hurt you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right. So, is it rumbling like it's about to come? Yes, down? it seems okay, like you defeated should... a load-bearing boss. Okay, so we we should run. We should go. So let's uh, All right. head back out the door. Definitely, you I'll guys... be taking Lewis's head with me. You guys run back. Uh, and, and hopefully me. As you are reaching for the body, though, you find that it is, like, disintegrating. Not say, turning to ash, but say. it seems more like it's rotting at a super increased oh. pace. It's giving off an awful smell like carrion, and it's basically melting. All right, all right. I will slap Joseph's hand say, leave that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. All right, well, I'll scoop up Leon and get to running. Please, yeah. I'm a little woman now again. Oh, I'm sorry, Alicia. You guys sprint to the wall. The flesh has uh, receded again, so you're able to climb up the ladder. And you get out, basically, as the whole place collapses. Okay, so what's the occult feeling here? Um, as Is soon as you hand? emerge, there's like a tremendous weight that seems to be lifted off you. Something seems to have happened. Okay, we should probably get up top and see if yeah, we can find a lot of those guys. Yeah, you guys get out and get free. Is Elias there? Um, Elias uh, meets you up in the sewers. Um, mm -hmm. He says, I was coming back. All of the creatures just disintegrated. Yeah, it turns out it was Lewis. <laughs> Alright, where did she come from? And he points at Abigail. Yes, Abigail. So, yeah, we... I believe he was, she was his like, prisoner. Abigail, how did you get there? She says, Haiti. I was I was taken there by a, a strange Asian man. A strange Asian? Do you know that's Asian? So uh, it wasn't the Camarilla Code? She's seen the Camarilla Code, right, Steve? Yeah. Right. It's, it's it wasn't the, the man in the coat. He was a strange Asian man. He brought me here and Most told me been. what I needed to do to kill the demon. What did Most you mean to jail. kill the demon? Uh, she describes a ritual she took place, uh, took part in, and basically she was putting up talismans, and it ended with her plunging a weapon into the beast's heart. Okay. If you want to give me an intelligence plus a cult. Yeah. Hmm. So, that would be four. Or seven. Meanwhile, I'll tell Abigail that I am glad to see her safe. Um, to your mind, it does seem like a definitely it's not something you're familiar with because mm -hmm. you're not an oriental geomancer, but it does seem to follow those lines. It so does make sense been, from an so occult it perspective. Been Ju, Ju, Elias, does he, uh, he does he know Zhu? Elias, uh, he was the one who told you that to collect Zhu's paintings, Zhu's okay. uh, because Zhu had died, and you were okay. he was investigating the thing and he painted the paintings right. and then when he died, but now you guys there's this down. Asian man that has had her do this thing and i'm like but not Zhu. that wouldn't be Zhu because he's dead Zhu was supposed to be dead he's supposed to be i mean he could easily not be okay so you completed the ritual and the demon is dead the demon wasn't lewis lewis was just a the asian man brought you here to do the thing and did you run into lewis how did she lewis says get here? i don't know i was brought here um I, I don't remember. And it seems like she's under the effects of Dominate. Okay. Hmm. Alright. But apparently the demon is dead. Like, I'm... 
I'm yeah, over the next Abigail few nights, you guys... It's not like in Abigail and it's Over the like few nights, you kills. search uh, Abigail, you search the area, and it seems like because you guys dammed up the energy, mm -hmm. you were able to then bring out the demon's heart, which she then vanquished. She then vanquished. Well, that makes her true sabbat. I'm going to rule on that. The, uh, yes, the bishop... Uh, the new Archbishop Benezri agrees with you. Okay. Although uh, Velez was found innocent during her trial, she was removed from her control of the city because of the allegation. She mm -hmm. was demoted to bishop. And because he had already been leading the city so well, Benezri was given the title of Archbishop for okay. the time being. For the time being, okay. Um, each of you uh, has been recognized by the spy. He recognizes each of you as assisting him in destroying the demon. Okay. Whoa. So, because of the part you played helping him, each of you gains one dot of status. And I'm mm. supposed to have two. Yes, you, were, you had one more. I'm at three now. Very nice. I'm at two. I'm at one. He also... You finally have a dot of status. You should be at two. You guys got a dot of status uh, got, earlier. Yeah, I think you just didn't write it down. So. Oh, well, I'm at two, we're, huh? we're infamous. We're infamous, <laughs> if that's for us. So we're back up to seven. We'll conduct Abigail into our... Yes. Uh, ben, uh, Archbishop Benezri personally uh, conducts the ritual, recognizing her as true Sabbat. Okay, very nice. And she is obviously going to be a member of your pack, which brings you back up to seven. Okay. Nice. I will personally train her. All right. And... Uh, that is pretty much the end of the Chronicle. All right. Um, you guys, uh, everyone can have uh, eight experience points. Um, you can spend them if you want to. I'm not planning on writing anything immediately. Obviously, we're doing uh, Miles' Chronicle next. Um, yep. Depending on how much time there is between the end of that and when David leaves for Japan, uh, there is an official adventure set in Montreal that I may run after mm. that. We can... Um, depending on if there's time, it's not really a big deal. It'll be just basically yeah. a standalone adventure. Uh, how many weeks until uh, you're leaving, David? I'm going on the 1st of April. All right. So that Ooh. is going to be uh, the end of the stream, the end of the recording. Um, and that's basically all the Vampire of the Masquerade we're going to be uploading for some time. Well, no Oh. All right. So, Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you. See ya. See ya.